Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to uh, to GTA 5. Welcome to a stream. It is Sunday. It is time for some chaos. Uh, I have an Apollo in the office, which means Distracto Dog is going to, I have no doubt, make an appearance because he's already demanding attention. Unlike the cats that kind of know when I'm working, Apollo doesn't. Apollo hasn't figured out when I'm working, when the microphone is here, uh, that that means it's time to work. So, um... Yeah, we're probably going to have Distracto Dog. He may have to go downstairs. We'll see how he how he does. How he does. If he's chill, then he can stay. Um, but uh, yeah, we shall we shall see how it goes. Oh, you got to try and sit on my lap. You are a big dog to be doing this. I guess this is starting already. Come on, All right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We will we will try. Oh, all right. Bear with. Come on then, Apollo. Come on. Right. I have actually got, so I've got, I have got the webcam, it is set up this time. Just, no, don't sniff the microphone. Look, this is what I'm dealing with here. Hold on. Oh, hey, buddy. I don't know if you can still hear me. I'm trying to talk over a dog. Well, through a dog, actually. Bolo, do you want to be streamer today? Is this what, uh, <laughs> this is what, this is what I deal with. Big Scary Mally is more interested in trying to eat the mic, well, not even eat the microphone. There we go. Um, yeah. Here we go. He, he he is a very big dog um, who thinks he's a lap dog. You barely fit on this chair, don't you? You barely fit on the chair. Um, all right, if you can get yourself comfy. Oh, you're going to move my microphone. Now I can't see the screen. Uh, <laughs> you're actually going to pull the wire out on the uh, microphone. Oh, Christ. Nope. Okay. Well, that's to be fair, that is easier. That is easier for me to deal with. At that point, um, so I think I don't think he could quite get comfy because the microphone was in the way. Um, if he figures out a way to get comfy with the microphone, there he'd probably sit there for most of the stream. Given half a chance, he would. Um, right, we will go and have a spin on the lucky dip. Oh, we don't have a spin on the lucky dip wheel because I believe that is a Lado with a fish on. I don't know why Lado's got a fish head. <laughs> I'm not. I am not sure, but uh, Lado has a fish head and has got twenty thousand dollars, which is um, which is something. Hello, Lado. Uh, can we go and win a? Um, oh, wrong button. Can we go and win a Porsche SUV? That's not really the most excited, exciting thing in the world. Um, I mean, if we can win it, awesome. It doesn't look like we're going to get it this time around. We're going to get close. I'll take the 40 grand, to be fair. Um, I will. I will take the 40 grand. That's actually probably about the second best thing you can win on there outside of the car. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, Zav, thank you very much for the donation. Saying I would uh, very like to request a track. I'd like to request... Uh, Linus Monterey. That's not how it's pronounced, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it by level eight uh, instead. As one of my favourite real, real world tracks, and one very few people seem to know about. I certainly didn't know it was based on a real a, a real track. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I had no idea it's based on a real world circuit. But we can have a go up there at some point. Uh, Drake, thank you for the donation. Uh, so please and please if we do the boost canal make sure it. it's in small cars I mean, big cars physically don't fit uh, can we also do another request for um, for Linus Monterey uh, ish circuit as well if possible we can we can go there we can definitely go there uh, the car show let's go and have a look at the car show today how are we how, how have we got it going on here um, I mean pretty good pretty pre I mean I, I approve I, I approve of the uh, kind of flamey orangey um, palescent. Is it? I, li I like that. Um, oh, I haven't got. I was halfway through putting stuff back on. Uh, uh, that one. There we go. Um, we have. I mean, we have a fair few Reinhardts. I have one somewhere as well. Um, I mean, bonus points for bringing the right coloured hot knife over here. <laughs> And, I mean, that's... I actually know you could have one with a pink roof, to be honest. I didn't know that was a thing that could be done. 
Yeah, surprisingly, surprisingly sensible car. It's not going to stay, as we all know. Um, as, as we all know, it's not going to stay. Uh, Vortex, uh, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, uh, I request Laguna Sorter with Junes. Uh, we can probably have a go with that. Uh, Gordon Fan, thank you for that. Nice. £20 says you can't make Lado sh sh Shishimi. Uh, well... I, I don't know whether that was the right thing. We did explode Lado. It was something was requested. I presume it was kill Lado, because he was a fish. So I feel like it was... Um, <laughs> I feel like... I... I uh, it's, look, I had to kill Lado. It was requested. It was requested, okay. Um, it, it had to be done. It had to be done. When, when we... Ah! I'm on fire. I am on fire now. Um, look. <laughs> uh, it was disintegrated. It, it was disintegrated, Lado. I don't know if that counts. Um, does, does that count? Um, who knows? Um, uh, Rocket Lasso, thank you for the donations. Like another boost canal in Pantos, please. Uh, cheers to Longbow for the most entertaining map in a while. Uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to melee kill Lado, mostly because if Lado knows what we're doing, and you always spawn in a car. And I guess we can... It might have to... Uh, I've got very little in the way of health. So I feel like we're going to lose this fight. Um, oh! Okay, it was it was a stab. It was... I'd, I would say... I mean, it was a stab in the gut. <laughs> I, d I did... I mean, it was a little bit more brutal than I expected. I'll be honest, I thought that was going to take a few attempts. Um, yeah. I, d I did think that was going to take a few attempts, not just one stab. Oh, wait. Uh, I have a feeling that is probably not going to be very happy with us. Which is probably fair, to be honest with you. Uh, I know Lado's over there. Um. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello! Okay, I'm gonna go and start a race. Um, sorry, Lado. I, we are being unnecessarily mean to Lado. Um, uh, Gordon fan, thank you for the donation. So, I mean, yes, it was a kill Lado, but I expected it to be more bullets rather than uh, making freshly cooked. We did make, we did have a freshly cooked Lado, and then we had a stabbed Labo, Lado, and then we had another cook. We might have killed Lado a bit too much. Uh, shall we go load up a race? We shall go load up. A, a race um, that has been highly requested. I, we, I, I literally said to the filming crew that everyone was going to bloody request Boost Canal for a stream the second we filmed it, whatever day. It just happens it's come out a day before uh, a stream. Uh, let's go and head here. This was uh, highly requested as well. So we shall uh, go and load this one, uh, this one up and see what happens. I think it's all locked to cars. Um, I think it's one car per category, from what I remember. Uh, so this has got one very big banked corner, and then um, some fast chicanes. I, I mean, I, I like the um, I like the layout of the track. I think it's a fun circuit to drive. I think it's going to be chaos here. I, I have no doubt. We're going to start. Let's start. Let's start vaguely sensible. Um, let's, let's start vaguely sensible, um, we'll go with some coupes, uh, around, around the circuit, uh, that is closed, I did remember to do that. Now, if you'd like to join, sorry, we never, we, people were joining because some people remember how to join, just in case, just in case you haven't, uh, watched one of these before, uh, maybe it's your first time watching, uh, if you'd like to take part in this, you are more than welcome to, as long as you don't drive like a complete plank. Uh, Ewan is the person to message. Their game tag is at the very uh, bottom of the list on screen currently. Uh, send Ewan a message on Xbox, um, and he will try and invite you. Uh, you do have to, of course, be playing on Xbox, and you have to be on the enhanced version of GTA if you would like to take part. Uh, so, yeah, there are a few spaces, and, you know, maybe the session will end up getting filled, maybe there will be, um, 
uh, spaces later on. Who knows? Uh, but we have currently got a few spaces if you want to take part. Uh, so yeah, send you a message and we'll try and get you invited into this. If you haven't seen this track before, um, be aware there are some fast chicanes, there are some kind of bumps that are going to launch vehicles around. Be careful. It's just, uh, <laughs> just a good idea to, you know, be, be careful. Um, we'll see how well that goes. Shall we begin? Let us start. Oh, someone is joining. Someone has joined. And well, let us begin uh, and see what. Uh, see, oh, I can't remember. But that's, I can't remember. I don't know what cars you have in the coupe category uh, for this one. Should be. Uh, that should be good. They're all pretty. They're all pretty decent to drive from this category. I'm trying to remember, if there's anything completely terrible. Um, if you are just, if you're just tuning in, welcome. Don't worry, you haven't missed Boost Canal. Of course, it's well. Uh, of course, it's going to make an appearance. Uh, oh, we got the can. I don't know. That was actually technically counted as a coupe in this game. What? GTA put a car vaguely in the right sort of category for it. That does not seem correct at all. Um, it's definitely not like GTA. I've got Apollo doing the sleep, sleep running. Well, I don't think he's properly asleep at the moment. Um, but uh, <laughs> he was there twitching away. Uh, right. Time for time for some racing. Turn one is going to be a mess. I can sense it. Uh, I guess we are in ghosty ghosty mode. And to actually, this will kind of work to a degree. Although we will kind of turn into turn one and then pop out of ghost mode. Um, whoa! Ugh. We are in kind of in the bleachers a little bit. We get a, we get through it all uh, fairly nicely. Oh, <laughs> Hammond is getting. Uh, bopped against the wall, and everyone has made it. Uh, the good news for us is that uh, we are kind of away from the large herd going towards the dangerous bit, which is the chicane. Uh, don't want to go side... Oh, definitely didn't want to go three wide through there. Uh, <laughs> Drake had a lot of momentum. And uh, yeah, two wide was iffy. Like Me going side by side with Danger Man was sketchy there. Going three wide was always going to be a problem. Uh, we are through. No, oh, there was a. Uh, God damn it! We were trying. To, we were trying to mind our own business. Abe, I think, got a big slipstream pull, and once you end up in the back corner of a car, uh, there is not much that you can do. There's a very weird. Which feels like a tire going down as you run that. Didn't don't remember it doing that. Uh, with the other cars we drove there. Um, yeah, down that start finish straight. Very much felt like a tyre was going down. The controller went very mad, pretty much. Uh, we are going to understeer like a boat uh, a little bit out of there. Can we curb boost off of the uh, edge? Not quite. Uh, but they are three wide for the lead. It is. Oh, a big mess. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> Didn't see how that one started. Three wide there is just not going to work. Um, but I think they had sorted themselves out before it got to that point. I don't quite know what happened to lead to that crash. Didn't really see. Oh, that's such a dangerous corner. It's good fun, but you get it wrong and you are having a bad day. Uh, and it's very easy to get it wrong. Longbow is probably going to have a look to the inside. I don't know if you're going to actually make that pass work, though. Uh, Nope, oh, I can't carry the speed on the exit. We have a good run through all of this. We've got a little bit of slipstream from Gliska for a moment. Now from uh, Valentine uh, we are to the... Uh, we're going to go for the cutback <laughs> on the exit. We can get a little bit of slipstream off of Gliska. That would be good. Uh, we won't force the green car across the jump. Uh, mostly because they won't want to go on it. They'll turn down on us and there's a big crash for me. So, yeah. Oh, we will get ourselves slowed down for the chicane. A little bit of two-wheeled antics. Uh, from me and Gliska there. We have pulled clear of the rest of the pack, kind of as expected a little bit. Mayhem is going on at the chicanes, and when you're further oh, on your own, you can kind of just avoid some of it. Uh, right, how... Uh, the slipstream run. Oh, well. <laughs> there goes the slipstream run for the others. Uh, yeah, the runs of the line. It's not the biggest run to the line, so if you can get off the chicane well, you are doing 
you're, you're in for a, a good chance of winning to the line. You'll get past before turn one, but you can get to the line perhaps. I think we're looking at going four wide down here. Maybe. I don't want to be on the outside of four wide. However, little choice uh, in all of this. There's going to be a gap in the middle somewhere. And we're back to four wide again. <laughs> uh, I think Danger Man has lifted and has fallen back. Uh, no. Danger Man is going to send it around the outside. We all make it work. Just about. Just about find some space for us all to fit through there. Uh, that's, that's madness. We are, we are at the complete madness stage of the race. Uh, I've got quite a lot of understeer going on down there. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, that's a monstrous accident. <laughs> I mean... That, that was a car on the inside clipped the wall and it pinged it, took out second, and we kind of went underneath the crash. We lost a little bit of time. However, I mean, it's so easily done. I've done it plenty of times in these races. Um, we've seen it done plenty when you are, you know, you're battling away and you just turn in a fraction too soon. And once you've, once you've committed, once you've turned in like that, there is nothing that you can do. There is just absolutely nothing that uh, that you, you can do about it. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a pain when it happens, because as you saw there, it can wipe out a lot of other cars as well. Uh, it can cause a big chain reaction crash. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that is... Uh, that, that is that. I mean, when you're on your own, it's... Oh, you can do it on your own sometimes. I was just trying to get away. Oh, an AB has done... Yep, there you go. Uh, so when, you, when you're on your own, you can actually go flat out through there. I've got an understeer mid-corner. You can't... You can if you get it absolutely perfectly when you're on your own. Because you're going so much slower than when you're in with the pack. This was going to catch it by turn one anyway, I think, with the slipstream. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the sticky out hay bale is... Um, uh, always interesting. Uh, uh, there was a thought about it. Uh, oh, I forgot about the joker lap. Yes, let's go for the joker lap. Joker lap time! <laughs> While we're still in the slipstream of a car, and there is no what. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> we didn't really lose much going for the joker lap. Uh, it's an unofficial joker lap, but it's funny. So we kind of half end up doing it. Liam is up to third. Morris, I think we've got Longbow behind. Uh, so now I'm going to kind of... Nope, loads of understeer through there. Yeah, that's a difficult one to get. It's a difficult one to get right. You're trying to get off the banking because the second you try and... Oh, Liam is going to go all the way to the inside. Uh, Liam will struggle to pull that one up in time. They do just... I thought about running them out of road, but uh, they stayed far enough alongside. We'll cut back underneath again. It's a good little uh, good little battle between me and Liam. Here comes Gliska. Uh, they're going to go to the outside. The question is, will they make it work? I'm happy to try and duck underneath Liam, but I can't quite do it. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Midnight and Longbow are coming to join us. Can these cars bump draft? Uh, we'll push a little bit. Not much, though. Uh, we are side by side with Liam through here. Neither of us really want to give up. What lap number are we on? Seven. Okay, we've got a few more laps, so it's not quite do or die moments yet. Uh, Liam is going to get to the lead of the race. I am not, because I struggle getting the car down there and turned. Although, honestly, that's probably a better line through all of that, because of the big slingshot off the corner. Yeah, sometimes just sitting up a little further back, you're going to go all the way to the inside. It's a difficult line to make work when you're that tight to the uh, inside of the track. Uh, however... I have got some speed, or oh, it's on a little bit of a walk. -in. Basically, I'm doing what I'm in the position where Liam was last lap around, and Midnight was doing what I did previous lap. Uh, so we're still side by side. It's still three wide oh, up here. Gliska is on that outside line. Uh, they're going to run out of run out of space out there. They just about make it work though. Uh, now we're three wide. We're Longbow making a jump to the lead of the race, and me and Liam are going to go oh, side by side through the chicane again. This time, just swapping sides. Uh, Longbow with the lead of the race. We'll get the slipstream off of Gliska here. It's a five-car battle for the lead, and that's probably the way it will stay for the rest of the race, barring any big accidents. Uh, we have again got a really good run off of the banking. Uh, <laughs> I keep getting these good runs, and I know it's not going to bloody happen on the final lap of the race, the lap where it really counts. We all dive under brakes for turn one. Okay. Stay sure we stay in touch with Liam, of course. We will. The catch-up the slipstream will always be dragging us back towards them. 
Uh, is it going to be three wide for the third lap in a row down here? Oh, I think we... So I think we lag bumped Liam. On my, on my end, as you saw, there was no contact, yet Liam's car acted like there was, which makes me suspect there was a little bit of a lag bump uh, went on there. Uh, all right, into the chicane. We had two wheeled like that, doesn't really matter. Uh, we've got Ewan, Midnight, and oh, Liam and Amy, I think, are all coming to join the party. I do not want to make it three wide coming off the banking here. A load of understeer. Once again, we get another really good run. Ewan is also... I uh, got a big slingshot, although just stalls out alongside Longbow with a little bit of contact. Uh, Liam is to the front of the pack. It's three wide through first <laughs> hairpin. This is madness. This is absolute madness on this one. Oh, you, and, you can't come across just yet, buddy. <laughs> Still an orange car alongside. Uh, we are not quite going to go three wide. Gliska with uh, a little too late under brakes, or maybe a controller problem, I'm not sure. Uh, one way or another, Gliska's out wide and in trouble. We push Liam through. Uh, oh, nope, don't want to end up there. Right, who is going to have a good run? I think we're going to be we, we're going to be in an awkward place for a run here. Uh, we are actually on the outside of everybody coming down here. Oh, we're trying to get across. I think we're too far back. Yeah, the contact was just enough to upset us. Uh, it wasn't. It was, it wasn't intentional. Longbow's always going to have a car. Or there's always going to be potential for a car on the inside. We're just trying to sweep down to take a line that we wanted. Um, but it's just a green car alongside, and I was a little too far back to get that good run that I had been getting. Uh, it in, in the end, it is Ewan that would go on to uh, take race number one. Liam, at uh, second, uh, we would be third ahead of Mute Midnight Longbow. Amy, Gliska, Danger Man, and Salmon would round out the top ten. Well, that always had a little park. Uh, <laughs> sure. Fair enough. Uh, also, Christian Sweden, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying a stream to brighten up this rainy evening. Ah, we do not have rain in England for once, which is nice and a rare change. Uh, <laughs> a, uh, a, rare, a rare change indeed. But uh, yeah, hope. I hope you will enjoy the enjoy the stream and enjoy uh, whatever nonsense we end up doing here. I mean, it's been relatively sensible first first race. Um, could have been a lot more ridiculous. Eh, a podium. It's not too bad. Um, however, <laughs> always want more. And I, I said it. I mean, I called it. I knew we'd always been getting good runs out of that final corner on the last lap would be the time where it doesn't work. Um, that is, that is always, always the way. Um, we will get this one. Ah, Lado's having dinner. Ah, that would that would explain. <laughs> ah, cannot go wrong. Cannot go wrong with burger and chips. Um, right. What class of car do we want next? Um, apparently it's raining in other parts of which is my part of England. It is not raining, which is. <laughs> Uh, actually, I think I think the part of England I live in is actually generally quite good for not uh, not having too much rain. So yeah, I think we get away with it quite well in, in my in in my in my part. Well, I say in my part. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so I think it's one of the drier parts of the country. But uh, here we go. Uh, right, I'm gonna go with supercars. I don't remember what. Uh, but, uh, what, did, what did we run around here for the video? I think it was a Camaro and something else. I don't think we were a supercars. Uh, not sure what the supercar will be. This could be sketchy. I'm going to go with it. It could be. I don't know whether it will be. But there is potential for it to be a, be a sketchy one. Um... Uh, to those, to those just joining, welcome. Ah, I didn't even know this was in. I didn't think this was a supercar. I thought this was a sports classics or something. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? Uh, for those just joining the stream, welcome. Uh, welcome all to some GTA madness. Uh, we are saving the boost canal for a bit later. The filming crew are not looking forward to it. <laughs> they know. They. They. They know. 
the pain that it will be. Um, also, I don't know whether you'll... I don't think you'll hear this. Um, there's a lot of farm equipment moving around where I live at the moment, so you might hear a lot of tractors and stuff going. <laughs> so you kind of block it out after a while, um, but I, I hope I hope it's not picked up um, on the on the mic. Uh, we have led away from the line. It's gonna. Is, are we gonna go back to the just me versus Liam? Oh, me versus Liam and Gliska three wide in this corner. That's not happened a million times already. Oops. Okay, these are a bit faster. Oh, Liam's gone for a very big joker lap over there. That was a, a little bit too wide. A little bit too wide. I've got nowhere to go. Oop, stuck in the middle of that. And into the chicane. We shall fire the car. Oh, try and give uh, Amy some space at least through all of that. Uh, now, how fast are these going to be? I mean, they're going to come off the banking quick. Oh, gee. I didn't quite want to go for that in the same way that Ewan did. And think, oh, Ewan, what was that? <laughs> Ewan, you've got to wait to move across, okay? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Not sh outside of grabbing the brakes a second I saw Ewan moving, I don't think there's very much I could have done it even then. That would have been very difficult. Oh, there's a load of understeer in these. We're going to get the joke lap out of the way early. Sure. Let's do it. Um, yeah. Oh, well. We're, we're, we've still got plenty of racing laps to uh, make our way forward. Level 8's alongside, but that's a very... That's not going to um, last long, shall we say. Uh, not when it, You've got to be a lot further alongside than that. You and all sorts of out of control over the curves. We just had an absolutely mega run through all of that uh, as we head down towards turn 1. Make sure we get it stopped. We're not going to be overtaking down there, so... Because of the massive overspeed we get in the slipstream and everything, I'm not uh, I was too far back to be playing an overtake, so I'll just brake a little bit early and make sure we play it safe. Because uh, the brakes on this are not great, and they are catching people out. Danger Man is off for the Joker lap. Liam is off for the Joker lap. Woo! <laughs> We're going for the uh, movie cinematic style. <laughs> Everyone cross over. Uh, what was it? Who was it? Is it the Lotus Formula One team that had the truck jump the Formula One car like that, essentially? Uh, like the truck did a jump and the Formula 1 car whizzed under it um, as it went across. It was too good an opportunity for something cinematic oh, to pass up. Uh, Danger Man was all sorts of crossed up over the bumps there that kind of screwed up my momentum. Uh, we are going to go to the inside of Danger Man, but there is a pink car to the inside of us and to the outside of us. Uh, through there. Yeah, let's not uh, have that fight too much. Um, oh, Amy did have a little bit of a, a bump on the wall, but Nothing terrible. I think the trick with this car is you've really just got to get it slowed down. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was a less successful attempt at the whole uh, jump over everything. Uh, I mean, it could have gone worse. We've seen a lot worse uh, accidents with cars landing on top of other cars and everything. But there we go. This is actually a big oh, camera. Please don't do that. It's actually a pretty big pack of cars oh, going on. Gliska is alongside. Yeah, I was say, someone's going to get a really good run off of there because we were so slow being all stacked up side by side. Uh, down towards turn one we go. Three wide. Level eight is not quite going to have the momentum on the exit there. Uh, we we made life difficult for Gliska there. We kind of ended up blocking off the run. Although, that's actually worked out all right for Gliska because they stayed ahead of level eight. Oh, Gliska on the outside struggling to get stopped. That's did somebody else. Don't know who that was uh, back there. We've got a good run here. So have I like got an even better one, though? I don't know. Uh, we are to the inside. Amy backed out of that one. Danger Man will keep hold of the leader. It's probably a sensible thing to back out of that one. Would have maybe been more sensible for me to back out of it, but... Oh, these actually move around quite a lot on the uh, banking. It's really difficult to know. Uh, quite a sort of predict what they're going to do. It's very close. This is going to be a, a close run to the line, I think, unless there is a massive accident <laughs> on the final corner. I uh, don't know what happened other than Amy was pointing the wrong way, and we have escaped away from that one very nicely. That, that works for me. That, that one works for me quite quite nicely indeed. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll enjoy a lap of peace. <laughs> uh, it won't last long, of course. We'll probably get off the banked corner and everything is going to come soaring past because they can 
friends. Although they, it is better to be leaving this section on your own because you can actually get a good run through here. If you're side by side, you lose a lot of time. However, once they sort themselves out, uh, here comes the huge amount of slipstream and catch up. This brought everybody here. Uh, Liam with a massive, oh, with a massive dial. I didn't think I didn't think Danger Man was going to follow that one, so I tried to turn in to go for the cutback on Liam. But there was a red car there. Uh, oh, not. A, what is it? We're going three wide in this corner. Uh, it's just apparently the thing we like to do here. I'm very much on the outside here. Uh, Liam wants to go for that. <laughs> <laughs> Liam just likes the joke a lot. I think Liam's just going for the spectacle at this point. Uh, that's that's all it is. Liam is just going for bonus points on making it as, as big a spectacle as possible. Uh, we're going to have a danger man. It's going to run up high on the banked corner. Liam is going to come with a huge amount of speed, although it's going to be close. It's going to be really close to being able to hold it off of the final corner. It's going to be really close, and it's going to really depend on how many cars. Like, if it's just a 1v1, it's going to be very different than if you have a big gaggle of cars all battling for position. Uh, we have that back marker is staying out of the way. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Uh, Danger Man is going to find a gap. Uh, make that one work. Liam is all the way to the inside. I cannot fight all of that. Liam wanted to go through the gap in the <laughs> kind of the fencing there for <laughs> changing their mind. Still want a couple of laps of this mayhem. Oh, we got a huge bump from Amy that has put us to the lead of the race. Did not expect that to work at all. That's kind of cool. Bump draft kind of worked. We lost the lead by the line though, and that's the thing. So even if you get past, oh, it's going to be a it's very difficult one to hold. I mean, you would probably move about more not block, but you'd probably move to try and break the toe. Not that I think it would work. I think it's too long or a straight anyway. Uh, whoop! There's... <laughs> well, there was a, a late-breaking Liam in that one. Uh, we have got a half-decent exit. We're going to be side-by-side side with Danger Man down here, but it's not as good as the others. Oh, we'll go side-by-side side into the chicane. Don't really want to be back in fourth. Would this, though, be able to be a position where you could maybe get a victory if the car's ahead? I mean, certainly if the car's ahead have a crash, you'd be at a good spot. Uh, oh, that was maximum attack on the curb. Yeah, Liam holds. Maybe just got beaten to the line. Difficult to know. Oh, we had bounced off the inside. Try and keep this one together if we can. It's all out, uh, it's all out of position for, for us, just the bounce off that inside wall. Lado, we haven't seen Lado all race. Lado has turned up at the very important lap here. Uh, it's the final lap of the race. Lado is here. It looks like it's going to be between me, Danger Man, Gliska, Lado, and Liam. Uh, this is the battle for victory. Uh, into the chicane we go. Gliska with a little bit of a lead, but that's not necessarily the most helpful thing. Cause it's all going to depend on who can get out off of this banked corner the best. Uh, Danger Man got a big slide. Oh, Danger Man got a slide. I was trying to carry the speed. Uh, Danger Man just lost the back end on, on the banking. And I couldn't get out. I was already fully fully committed. Sorry, Danger Man. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Danger Man went up high to get past Gliska. And then, although maybe... So I was watching it back on the, on the street. I think Danger Man was trying to cut back underneath, maybe. Either got a slide or tried to duck underneath. Um... Which was not a line I was quite ready for. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I was fully committed to a, to a normal line. Yeah, I think I think I know what Danger Man was, was going for on that one. Problem is, is essentially how um, me and Longbow almost got together in the previous one as well. It's like if you, if you cut, say if you cut down, if you go down earlier than the cars behind, you're so fast at that section. Yeah. Um, that, uh, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. It's unfor I mean, Gliska, it's great news for Gliska, who went on to take victory. Uh, while we were all we were all lining up to try and get the slipstream, right? And we all stumbled over each other. Uh, well done, Gliska. It will be uh, Gliska uh, from Lado in the end. Liam on the podium ahead of me and uh, level late. Danger Man unlucky to end up down in seventh, to be honest. A great race, though. It was very, very good fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... Uh, 
uh, it is it is good fun. Ewan ends up in eighth in this one. Uh, I didn't see it, the other rest of it. Yeah, it's a very a very good a very good fun fun track this one uh ronald borg thank you very much for the donation saying lado payback time oh dear does that mean i have to run now is that how this one works do i have to survive being chased by lado um uh rickert thank you for the donation say good evening i uh, highly enjoying the uh, the sunday fun day stream so big thanks uh, to all those involved any chance or any change on submitting tracks i made one recently for the sunday streams uh, downtown crash fest if any interest uh, at some point i'll get around to setting up the google form thing <laughs> I, I keep saying i will eventually i will i will eventually um get around to sorting it out i don't quite know when but i will try maybe for next week it's probably a tall order but maybe uh, Lado, thank you for the donation, saying, Mr. Day, you are contracted to kill a Liam. Uh, a Liam T007. Ah. Okay, well, I can I can try that. We can try and do that if we can find a Liam. Uh, I'm trying to get my normal hunting car. Uh, where the hell is it parked? Hell is it, is a better question. Ah, there it is. Um, if in doubt, this is normally the one to go for. Uh, right. I am sorry, Liam. Oh, it has spawned here. I'm hoping this has spawned in quick enough so that I can get in here. Okay, we are still in the same lobby as everybody. Aha! Right. We're looking. Has anybody seen a Liam? Uh, right. Where is Liam? That's not Liam. Where is Liam? Is it, oh, is Liam? Actually, is Liam in the game is the next question. Liam is in the game. Oh. <laughs> right, Liam's on the run. Okay, let's go hunting a Liam. Something with lasers went to have a go at us. Uh... Oh, has Liam got out of the uh, car? Whoa, don't lock onto that! Lock onto Liam! Sorry. Stop locking on to the. <laughs> uh. Ah. I don't know why Ewan is trying to kill us. Ah! Oh. <laughs> why is Ewan killing me? Ewan, you have nothing to do with this. Uh, Lana was also apologising for having run over a, uh, a mute in that one for, I, I guess, yeah, something went on there. Um, there's a graveyard of cars occurred over here. Um, that is quite an impressive attempt from, uh, from, from Amy to jump up here. Oi! Hey! Uh, right. Could we? Do I get control of the guns here? Uh, I, I guess, maybe? Uh, I think Liam's run away. Oh, that's quite good. Sorry. <laughs> I was actually trying to see if it worked. Uh, no, we can't, we can't actually shoot out of the car for, for reasons. Uh, we're going out to see, are we? Um, well, I guess no fun allowed from the filming crew. Um, we will go and load up the race um, on this one. Uh, right, we are going, we're not going Boost Canal yet. We will go to the uh, Laguna Sorter. That one there was a uh, requested, a uh, requested, requested track. Uh, doo -doo. There we go. Let us go and load up the, the track. Um, yeah, Lado, you can't suddenly change the rules to say no DeLorean when it's already submitted. <laughs> you know, you, you, you can't just change the rules. Um... It didn't specify it, so therefore it is fair game. Uh, right. From last, yeah, I'll get everyone from last job in. Um, awesome. Uh, I mean, when it's like 10 against 1, the bodyguards are probably going to win. The only, the only thing that you have going is uh, potentially you'll be in the right place when people spawn in. That's literally about it. Um... That's, that's that's literally the only I guess the only chance you have just by virtue of numbers, um, hence the uh, the DeLorean. Uh, 
But yeah. Um, what should we drive around here? So we'll have a go with the dunes. The dunes are actually fairly good fun around this this track. It's a good track in general. Um, we will go with let's go with some sports classic cars. They should be locked, uh, as far as I am aware. Uh, so yeah, if you want to take part, there are still some spaces. Ewan is the person to message. Uh, send a message on Xbox if you have got the uh, enhanced version of GTA. You are welcome to uh, welcome to join. Don't know what sport what sports classics we're going to get around this one. Um, should be something interesting though, that's for sure. But I say this, this for hopefully, hopefully should be something interesting at least. Um, so I mean, Laguna in general is a good track. Uh, this, or certainly this version of, I will give everybody a warning now. You got to be uh, aware that the uh, the corkscrew, this this track's version of the corkscrew. Yeah, you don't fit four cars wide down it. <laughs> there's, there's also a pylon or something on the exit that can and will cause issues. Just, just gonna, just gonna put that out there. All right. Just be a little bit careful. I know no one's gonna listen to that one, um, but you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say be careful. Ah, oh, we have the casco. Awesome. Uh, let's go and give this a race. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell, I'll tell everyone to be careful. Um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. We know there's gonna be a mess. The corkscrew is expected to, to be a little bit of a mess. Um, I mean, when we get to the Dakar trucks, they do hit some of the light gantries. Also, things to be aware of. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right, so I mean, we've got Amy on the front row with us. I think I think it was Gliska and Valentin behind. Um, all right, we are off and we are underway here. Uh, all right, I uh, have the host advantage of being on pole. It's always helpful. It means we can normally run into the first corner relatively safely here. Um, all right, we can. Keep the lead. Is Valentine going to look to the outside? No, Liam's the one with the run to the inside. And we are nicely enough through there. I don't know if these can bump draft. Possibly. We've built a lovely great big gap while everybody is uh, fighting amongst themselves. Oh, okay, that was a little bit rude. Uh, <laughs> I was going for the... I was thinking we were going to carry enough momentum that we would be clear, but uh, not quite. And now it is into... Oh, corkscrew. We are nicely through. Liam is nicely through. Somebody was doing a wheelie that was less nice back there. Oh, that's going to be cut back. For oh, no. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> I, w I got that corner a little bit wrong. I fully expected Liam to be doing a cutback, and they did not. So I didn't even put them in the wall just because I, I was anticipating where their car was going to be, and it really wasn't there. Um, we are still... Well, say three wide, Liam with a huge amount of speed. I'm going to guess probably a curb boost and a bit of slipstream uh, on that one. Did the job. We then get the slipstream into the next corner. Oop. <laughs> Couldn't quite make it work. And now we are side by side looking on the long way around. Not going to happen there. Uh, not from that angle anyway. Come on. Get the slipstream up the hill. Liam continues to defend. Valentine's got company now. It's going to get a lot busier all of a sudden. Don't want to be fighting side by side down there. The too wide through the corkscrew does does work here, but really that's that's the limit. <laughs> I don't actually think you'd get three cars wide, not in a racing situation, uh, out of there. I got a bit crossed up and a bit trouble out of the final corner. We get a good run though. Uh, we get a slipstream, of course, all the way down towards turn one, and that will put us to the lead. It's not a very big run to the finish line. Uh, this track, it's really not a very big slipstream run opportunity so you want to have your move done in the final corner probably you might just if you get a really good exit and the car ahead of you is a really bad one you might just out drag them to the line but it's such a short run is unlikely uh, we've got a good run here to the inside of the gray machine uh, and that will put us up a place oh Val valete went very wide under brakes there 
Uh, Gliska is having a look to the inside. Uh, you know what? We will let Liam go down there. That is Liam's got it all wrong on the exit. And Gliska's the one that's going to try and make the most of all of this. It's a good opportunistic move from Gliska there. Uh, we are on the wider line, though. We can kind of get the power down a little bit better. And we will lead that lap. Danger Man's come to join the fun. It is now... Well, <laughs> Seven car battle for the lead, I think. Not quite. Not far off yet. <laughs> uh, we've got three wide on the exit of turn kind of one-ish. Uh, see how... Now we're going three wide towards our next corner. I'm going to have to have a lift. This is not... I mean, we're, so we're having quite a lot of lifts in here, but because I'm in the slipstream of Danger Man, we're actually making this one work. Danger Man went very defensive down there. Uh, we will have a good run up the hill who's coming with us Gliska is going to follow us uh, we're ready for two by two into the corkscrew oh, we've got bumped clear into the corkscrew we go now we left space on the inside for danger man uh, everyone made it through yeah everyone got through there quite nicely uh, we will not get that level of oversteer that's the last thing we need uh, so you, you see what I mean I mean on that run there the the deciding move, if you like, was done at the corkscrew. So, yeah, if you can build a little bit of a margin, it's going to make the corkscrew chaotic as anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, an interesting one. We are to the inside of Danger Man. We will be passed for the lead. I mean, when it's just two cars, it's a lot more simple. Uh, a lot more simple, a lot simpler uh, than when there's five or six cars battling for the lead bobble the curve there, it's not going to be good enough Danger Man will probably pass us although this kind of works because we're not really slowing each other down that much Like this battle here is not really costing us much more lap time than the catch up is losing us because we're overtaking cleanly uh, now can I get a really good run through here, no you see that's the problem, I get a great run through there but that line doesn't work I mean, it works for lap speed, but it won't beat the other car to the line. Hmm. What do you have to do? I don't. I think you'd have. You just have to be closer. Um, I mean, you'd you'd probably be braver in the corkscrew. <laughs> uh, in on the final lap. But yeah, we're kind of learning and trying to figure out what we can and can't do. Danger Man is going to go to the outside. Liam and you are coming to join us, and that is going to change the complexion of this battle, of course. Uh, because, yeah, what you might be trying to do previously, you now won't, because there's another car involved. Do we follow Liam here? Oh. Maybe that's a huge amount of airtime. Danger Man was relatively kind, actually, there. Could have been a lot worse. Um, we are going to lose out big time in all of this. Yeah. We got too, I got too much airtime on the curb at, uh, at the court screw, and that's what gave us grief. Ugh. And I think Danger Man realised the amount of airtime that was going on and backed out of it. Oh, we've got a huge slipstream pull all the way down to this corner. That was way more than I expected. All right, got to go. Liam's enjoying a little bit of a breather. It won't last, but uh, he's enjoying it for the moment. Danger Man will pass to the inside. Not going to fight that one, no point. Uh, oh, <laughs> Danger Man's car was sliding all over the place there. Uh, not going for a move here. The reason why we want to get oh, did want to get a good run up the hill. Not going to happen. Right, go. Not got the momentum to really pass. So instead, I'll go for the push uh, because the important bit is to catch up to Liam, who has had a mistake on the corkscrew. Uh, we are sliding through there. Everyone wants to go wide over, kind of over the exit curbing uh, and get that curb boost two laps to go. Danger Man has made a pass for the lead. It'll quickly become a three-car battle uh, for the lead here. Uh, we will throw the car into this first corner. Uh, yeah, will Ewan and Valentin catch before the end of the race is the question. Uh, looks like they might, to be honest. And it will really depend on how hard the fight for position goes. We got a big amount of sliding. Oh, I don't think Liam realised how much momentum we had going to the inside of that. I think Liam had any idea we were carrying a huge amount of speed to the inside there and <laughs> moved across. Almost started a chain reaction. It's now going to be three wide, two wide into the corkscrew. Liam leads uh, from Ewan. 
And me and Danger Man, followed by Valentine, I think. And someone else has joined the party as well. It's a five car, six car battle for the lead on the final lap. It's Gliska who has come to join in. Can we get a good draft here? Maybe. No, no, the draft just didn't want to work for us. It's, it has now kicked in, but it's a little bit too late for that one. Um, yeah, this is going to be uh, a dicey one. It's all going to come down to kind of the run up the hill and into the corkscrew, and we've got a great run through here. Was not expecting that to quite work there, but it did. Uh, we have got to the lead of the race at a slightly unexpected place. Can't defend down here. It's too... Say it's, it's too open, it's too fast. Uh, Ewan is going to come across. Oh, there, there was a little bit of a gap that we were trying to get to. Um, and Danger Man... <laughs> Well, uh, Deja Man was, oh, so was going to keep us out wide. There is far too many cars down here. Uh, I mean, not going to be able to... No one's going to be able to get a good enough slipstream run here to outdo this. Although we've got a good, great run off the corner, but Ewan's going to do it. Uh, it's just too... I say too many. Uh, um, uh, there was, yeah. We actually got... I mean, Considering how far back we were, um, we got a really good run out of that final hairpin. So me and Liam tried to like this tight line. It just you just can't get any speed out of that way, um, which is a shame. Great race, absolutely fantastic race. Um, but uh, yeah, Ewan takes a second victory for the uh, for the stream. We had a Gliska, Liam in third, had a Danger Man then. Uh, I would be in 5th, Valentine, Lado, Mute, Level 8, and Longbow would round out the top 10. Ah. Yeah, that was, uh... Yeah, that was a good... That was a good... A good race. <laughs> uh, I say, it's, it's alright, Danger Man. It is, you know... There was... I say, battling for, uh... For, for, for position. Much... Much like I misjudged where you were on the first track, you just misjudged where I was, and, and that was that was that was that really. Um, so there we go. Uh, Lado, thank you for the donation. I'm saying the filming crew will only attack you if you use a cheaty method of death, and uh, Liam's death will not count. Uh, that, that is their uh, contract to save him. Okay, well, we'll see how this how this goes. God knows. Um, Sound, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so, you know, Alex, everyone has been asking uh, for straight line with some of the new cars, but uh, what I would love to see is straight line with some of the classics, like the I, uh, Morgan, and the Vamos. Hey, we can certainly have a look. We can certainly have a look at, uh, at running those. Yeah, sadly, straight line has not been updated to have some of the new cars as of yet. Um, oh, don't do that. Uh, right, I know what you want. You know what we will... You know what we will do. Um, it's going to be chaos. Um, yeah, <laughs> we know it's we know it's going to be absolute mayhem. It should be entertaining mayhem at least. Uh, if you would like to take part, again, we've got a couple of spaces. Give you a message, and he will try and uh, get you connected. Uh, right, if you just give me uh, just couple of seconds. I've got to do something quick. Right. Um, just making sure we get everything set up. We do. Uh, a Vortex. Thank you uh, for a, uh, another donation. So remind people to watch out for the lights. Yes. Uh, so after turn one, there is actually 
potentially um, uh, start finish line. A couple of the big bridges have got um, sort of start lights on the the trucks do not fit under. You have to go either side. I, I, well, I've given you all a warning. It's, I know people are not going to listen, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you do have to go either side of the lights. Your truck will not um, fit underneath them. It's going to probably cause a mess. Alright, here we go. It is time for some racing. This surprisingly, as, as dumb as this is, it is surprisingly good uh, in terms of um, actual sort of wheel to wheel racing. The, the, the Dune does produce some surprisingly good racing. Um, so, yeah, we shall see how it goes. Um, I mean, this is supposed to be one of the more sensible one of the more sensible circuits. Don't worry, if you're here to watch Boost Canal, it'll it'll turn up. It might be the next one we do. Or we might save it until before sumo, just so that everybody can... Uh, <laughs> okay, the start line doesn't have the lights, that's good. Um, it's, yeah, the exit of turn... I guess technically the exit of turn three, so the, that'd be turn one. Uh, no, I say turn two. I don't really, really like one. Uh, right. Oh. oh, bloody hell. Danger Man has made a met. Well, I think Danger Man may well have been helped into that, if I'm honest with you. Uh, that looks like a big mess is going on behind. Me and Lado are fine. <laughs> yeah, me, and Lado, me and Lado are all good. We got through that. I can just see a truck climbing a wall that a truck should not be climbing. A truck should not be climbing that wall at all. I don't quite know how it ended up there. But, uh, <laughs> There we go. Oh, it's me, Lado, Gliska, and Ewan up at the front. Uh, now, I am very grateful that I don't have very many vehicles around me to tackle the corkscrew for the first time in these. Much easier to take the corkscrew, you know, on your own. Uh, we can just... Oh, there's still some understeer. He got within a millimetre of that wall, but we are fine. Yeah. So, the top six have got... Well, in the top five, really, have got a breakaway. There's a truck on its own in six, and then there's a fairly big gap back. Uh, now, of course, we have got... Uh, slipstream and catch-up on. A lot of this... Uh, a lot of these gaps will close before the end of the race. You know, it means if you had a bad first lap, you're not completely out of it. Uh, oh, dear. No, oh dear. No, <laughs> dear. Lado is being brave. Lado is... Oh, I don't know if Lado was braver or Ewan was braver there. Uh, we've got a great run in the middle. I've got nowhere to go with it. As we head around our next corner. Still three wide. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, Ewan, you made a very good choice there. Uh, I did not want to quite understeer that much, but uh, I had no choice. So, yeah, Ewan was very wise to back out of that one. Side by side into the corkscrew we go. Uh, it is... I mean, we've still got a little tiny bit of an overlap on Gliska, but it's not going to be enough to make a pass stick. Uh, although we do get a good run oh, around there. Right. Oh, you don't go to the inside on that. Jeez. Gliska, oh, I was expecting that to actually be a bigger jump than it was in the end. Gliska gets away with it. Ewan is there to the inside now. Um, oh! <laughs> well, that is a... Uh, We've learnt you can fit two trucks wide each side of the lights. It's just a bit sketchy when you do, or oh, Ewan's going to end up almost in the wall. Uh, we are still going to get a big slipstream down here. We're to the outside. We're going to hang around the outside of everything here uh, as the climb up the hill begins. Go on, Lado. Go. <laughs> it's a bump jar for Lado because I've got nowhere else to go with all that momentum. Shall we? Sure. Oh, well, we were going to try to go around the outside. The, just, the space just didn't quite stay there in the end. We had to back out of it. And uh, Lado will hold the lead for now. Can we get a slipstream? I just don't think you're going to get a slipstream off that final corner well enough. You'll pass before turn one. In fact, Gliska is going to help us here. Um, 
but you just yeah you'll have to make the move into the final corner oh we're fine you and you and forgot <laughs> you and you and very much forgot about the lights didn't you you were so busy in the racing you just forgot oh to be fair might not have even been able to see the lights uh with their like forgot they were there and probably because they couldn't see them over the sea of trucks uh gliska trying to get the little sneaky bit of curb boost. i mean it's kind of worked i've not got any draft oh, not got, here comes the momentum now it's kicked in quite late oh we, we we had a good run and then lado just bump drafted gliska forward and gliska kept the place we are now side by side with the yellow machine uh, as we head towards the final corner, and I mean, this will be Gliska's run to the line very easily uh, here. Will we get... Oh, we might not even get Gliska by turn one, to be honest. Uh, there is another truck sneaking up on the inside. That's a Liam has turned up. Lado is not going to give us a push. Lado's going to look to the outside at turn two. Not going to work. Liam is trying to fall over. Gliska's falling over. Gliska has fallen over from the lead! Gliska's gone, Lado just avoided the lights. I don't actually quite know how Gliska fell over. It seemed like Gliska was perfectly in control, and then it wasn't, and then it was on its side, and then it was out. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. We will move across and defend. Liam's going to try... That's a... That's a gap. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's barely a gap. Level 8 is going to end up pushing us. Ewan's to the outside and pushing Lado. Oh, it's 3 by 3 it's three by three towards the corkscrew. No, I, I can't even back out of this if I want to at this stage. Uh, yeah, it's not working. I had no control over my truck. Um, all right. We have got around and we are going again. Uh, I was trying to get on the brakes, but we were just getting pushed. Uh, it was as expected. Uh, three wide does not work. I mean, it almost was working and then it wasn't. Uh, I think that's the best way to sum it up. It almost worked, and then it stopped. Uh, it was once the trucks once the trucks started getting connected together, and you just lost steering in your own vehicle. That was when the problems kind of were there, because everyone just ended up going straight. Oh, that's an unfortunate place to have an accident. Uh, <laughs> I think was it Liam turned in uh, and hit the inside wall, and if you have a crash like that leading the pack, it's going to be a bad day for everybody. Uh, oh, don't itch your nose. While you're in a pack of Dakar trucks, it probably doesn't end well. This is looking for a little bit of curb boost out there. Vortex has got the better run because the whole the whole train of cars. Uh, oh, well, Danger Man was on the outside there and uh, ended up in the bridge. Uh, oh, Ewan's about to fall over down the corkscrew. Your oh, Vortex. I don't know what's quite quite the stop there. Um, yeah, Ewan fell over off the corkscrew. <laughs> Oh, it's madness, and we've still got two laps to go in this. Salmon's pushed level eight uh, through the pack. Danger Man is going to have a look to the inside at turn one. Be careful you don't fall over. Lombo's turned up. Hello, Lombo. How's it going? I haven't seen you in this race yet. Uh, I'm going to guess you probably had a bad time on the first lap. It's taken this long to kind of recover from all that. Uh, three wide. Let's. Oh, that's maybe that was maybe the wrong truck to go to help. If I'm honest, I should have probably pushed Salmon uh, rather than pushed Level Lake. So I almost like, guarantee made that one a three wide. Um, there's a little bit of transfer of boop through there. Um, right, here we go. Up the hill. It is two by two. Almost oh, Level Eight's going to get kind of stuck. I could have made that awkward. I had the momentum to make that three wide. But that was never going to be a good idea. So, yeah, we just kind of had to lift... Uh, Oh, Gliska's hit the tyre bundle, or the hay bundle, or whatever it is. Yeah, Gliska has had a, uh, a bad time. And as we come out the final corner, we're following level 8 on the way forward. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> there's just a... <laughs> there's a oh, there's no one falling over. Salmon's gone. Two other trucks in the background have fallen over. What's gone on in the final lap? It's not even the final lap. Oh, it is the final lap. It's all gone mad, as expected. Lado's turning up. Please don't turn up at this corner, though, because uh, if he bumped me there, we would have ended up bumping danger, but I got no help on this outside line. Uh, all right, into the corner we go. Uh, Lombo has got to the lead of the race. I mean, we're going to just kind of follow danger, man. I haven't really got... Liam, you're going into a gap, buddy. That's just never going to exist there. 
Uh, I'm going to have to steer away from the rock face. I've got no other choice but to try and get down here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Longbow. Again, I did not want to be that far wide down there. <laughs> there was Everyone was just looking for a bit of space. And, well, I was just trying to not climb a rock face. Danger Man's going to win it. It's Oh, it's all got wrong. I think Liam fell over. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's all got a very, very wrong. <laughs> uh, I, 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 say, I apologize to, uh, to Longbow. Uh, I did not want to end up in the angle and position I did. However, there was uh, not, not anywhere I could go. Um... I don't know why YouTube seems to be having this at uh, funkyo frame rate. What is going on? OBS seems okay. YouTube, I apologise if the frame rate's a bit choppy. Um, I do apologise. I don't know why it shouldn't be, but uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Vortex, a, a woolala. Thank you very much for the uh, donation. Uh, so I'm bloody controller died. Ah, oh, no. That's not what you want. <laughs> it does happen. It does, uh... It does happen. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we have got some drop frames going on, actually. Um, I don't know what's going on. Why's the internet funny? Um, can I fix anything here? Uh, maybe I can turn... Uh, maybe I can... Do something. I don't know. No, no flashy, blinky, troublesome lights on the uh, on the router or anything. So I do not know. Um, hopefully, like I, all I can do is, is hope that uh, it behaves itself. Uh, H2G2, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, Alex, I apologise for coming in late. Strictly come dancing means I hate to wait. For the contestants, look fine. Their dancing's sublime, but online car mayhem is great. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic! Uh, we have Limerick of the Day to uh, to try and beat. I didn't know that was that was running at the moment. I, I didn't even know that was still on TV. I thought they'd given up with that by now. But uh, fair enough. Um, I think it might possibly. Oh, this is a bad place to spawn. Um, I don't think I'm going to want this, but. Uh, I say it's a bad place to spawn because of our, our little semi-objective. Um, do we go boost canal yet? Or do we go for... I don't know what card, what card Liam's is. Uh, 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 well... Okay, so I'm just not allowed to move. Yeah, sweet. Okay, well, sorry, Lado, I'm not going to bother. Uh, <laughs> it's like if, I, <laughs> if there's, there's, there's literally no point in me doing this objective-y thing if uh, we're not even allowed to move uh, from the start. I'll just rocket everything. I don't even know where a Liam is at the moment. Um, oh, Lobo survived. I'm surprised by that one. Um... Yeah, I don't actually know. They might not even be in the game anymore. I can't... I can't even see, to be honest. The <laughs> uh, yeah, so the question is, do we do boost canal or do we do straight line? That is that is the question. Um, boost canal is locked. I'm just going to put this out there. Um... Boost canal is, is locked. There are certain things that can be done, and there are certain things that can't. Um, so, yeah. If if it can be done, maybe, but I, I can't guarantee that it can, pretty much. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I, I, of course, certain vehicles don't fit. The track is very, very narrow and very low at some points. So, yeah. Also, I don't think the rusty tractor is able to be used in a race race. I think it can only be used in a... Um, uh, transform race, right? I could be wrong. 
but um, I don't think you can select it normally. Um, oh, along we did add some more cars to Boost Canal. But it is locked. Awesome. Okay, we can do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, first race will have wanted levels off. Trust me. Trust me, you are going to want that. Uh, <laughs> um, we are... How many laps? We'll go maybe four laps. Uh, we are going to go for the flick through and see what it lands on. Oh, uh, the rusty tractor not in the creator at all. Ah, oh, okay. Um... Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I don't. I don't know. So I'm not going to ask Lombo what they're locked to. They they will have to be able to have completed the track, but I'm not going to ask Lombo what they're locked to. So I don't know. We will have this as a surprise for everybody. Uh, <laughs> we will do off road first, and we will do compact second, and that is what we are going to go for. I don't know what the off-road vehicle is going to be, other than something silly. Uh, so if you've not seen this, if you've not seen the video, you are in for a treat. Uh, it is going to be broken. Um, there is very little. There's some skill involved. Um, there's a more more luck than anything, though. Um, more more luck than anything. Don't worry, the wanted levels will go on for the second race. We're having a first race without them. Then the second race is where we get wanted levels. Uh, <laughs> oh, now this this was bad with 13 people. With 26. With 26, this is... Uh, I'm going to go with not working. I'm going to go with not working, but let's find out. <laughs> let's find out what happens here. Oh, we have the Kalahari. A glorious little box of a Kalahari. Okay. Well, um this should be uh this this should be this should be interesting. I yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm not sure quite how how this is. I have an idea. It's an idea that I formed at the very end of the video. I don't know whether it's actually going to work. We're gonna, I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, there's uh, oh god. There's only so much control that you have over these vehicles, uh, over over anything on this track. Um, I'm going to try. Oh. Okay. Whoops. Okay, well, we got through the first quarter quite well. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Indeed, I am pointing the wrong way. Oh, Gliska's turned up. Vortex is here as well. Uh, so, oh, someone has exploded. Uh, right, okay, ride the wall. Get off the wall. And ride the other wall. Hey, come on, Kalahari, let's go. So, yeah, my technique is to basically steer into the wall. Whoop! Steer into the corner? That's gone way too high! I am not getting back anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> nope, nope, we're off, we're off to visit the water at that one. Oh, that lost so much ground as well. Uh, there is a Liam. Oh! Hello! Oh, hello, Liam. Liam's helping us. Someone's exploded. A lot of people have exploded. I mean, it's gonna happen quite a lot. Um... You're not going to get a clean lap, shall we say. Oh, pff, found a longbow. Longbow's on fire. <laughs> uh, right. Uh-oh. 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 Um, well, sure. Uh, we will get that uh, kind of righted. So, yeah, my, my, my technique is sorry, to steer into the wall that, uh, that we're taking. Oh, that did not want to get off the wall there. Uh, oh, Valentine's turned up. So, uh, uh, you know what? I liked it when I was in the lead. That bit was nice when it was kind of quiet and there wasn't too many other Kalaharis around. Okay, can I bounce off that wall? Yep, a little bit. And uh, now we're going backwards very fast and bounce off that wall. Yep, 
Oh, uh, we're still a bundle of metal. The bundle of metal is angry. Uh, well, that's actually sort of worked, kind of. Uh, <laughs> oh, no! Ah! Well, something's gone flying. I'm still pointing the wrong way. I would like to turn... Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, I'd like to turn around and at some point somebody's going to hit you. Oh, the gap appeared there very briefly. That worked. Okay, we're through. We're out. The car's a funny shape. The car's a very funny shape. <laughs> oh, we're 11th. I mean, it could have been worse, right? Right? Uh, there's a vehicle going to the inside. Oh, and you've hit a post. Not that it really mattered. Not that much of what you do here ultimately matters. Uh, I feel like I should maybe have reset. Ah, hello, Ewan. <laughs> Look, having an undamaged car does help a little bit. I can't see a thing. I'm very sorry if the frame rate's still bad. Uh, basically, it's just sort of fire your vehicle at a corner. Oh, no. And hope. Uh, there's a lot of hope goes on here that your vehicle might end up pointing the way you intend it to. Uh, oh, hey, Ewan. I'm flying a Kalahari briefly. It wasn't a very long flight. Uh, Valentine's going for some flips and some twists. <laughs> Ewan's turned up backwards in all of this. I'm flying a Kalahari again. Can we please get off the wall? There we go. Right. Bounce off that one. Oh, hello. I don't even know if you're for, uh, you are for position. Oh, I found Amy. Hello. Uh, <laughs> we're up to night. Okay, ride the wall. Turn to the left. That will flip that way. Oh, I got the checkpoint. Can I get the checkpoint over here from outside? I can. Awesome. I mean, there's a checkpoint slightly further down the uh, road. So, you know, that's something. Oh, beans. Get off that. And aerial overtake. Um, and aerial crash. And more aerial crashing. And on the wall a little bit. Uh, we've caught up to some vehicles. I don't know. I presume I presume no one's lapped. Oh, Danger Man's having a bad day there. <laughs> Danger Man's having a very bad day there. It's just sort of tumbling, cartwheeling their way down the road. Oh, hello. <laughs> it is literally just fling the vehicle at the final bit. Mutant Gliscara 30 seconds up the road. That's definitely not right. Uh, that's that's what happens when you have a good a good run, I guess. I mean, you could make up thirty seconds in a lap if you somehow manage. Oh, Danger Man was I'm not quite sure what that line was from Danger Man. I apologise. <laughs> Just had no I no idea or expectation that you would be there. Uh, there's Vortex, um, and there's Danger Man making sure we're facing the right way. Uh, okay, can we ride the well? Uh, we kind of could ride the wall. The problem is is there were some other vehicles in the way. Um, oh no, all of the positions, the beautiful positions are slipping away as we got tangled up with everybody else's crashes. I mean, everyone else is crashing constantly all the time. There's very little you can do about it, really. Um, I was hoping I was going to jump higher than them, to be honest, but uh, apparently nope, nope, we're just going to tangle with the red car. Alright, we had a good half a lap going on there. It was... It was nice. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's one way to overtake. Just fall from the sky and land directly in front of. <laughs> oh, there's a danger man in that corner somewhere. Ugh. Okay, we're back to sixth again, which I think is around where we started this lap. Oh, please have all wheels on ground going in vaguely. Ow! Actually, no, that helps. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Liam's here. I think somebody else is here as well. I don't quite know who it was, but uh, somebody else. Oh, we're just going to go ride that wall backwards and upside down and inside out. And oh, Hey, Liam. Ah! <laughs> Ewan is here as well. Okay, so this is the battle for fourth currently between Vortex, Liam, Ewan, and me. Um, all right, climb the wall. Fall off the wall. Cartwheel your way down the track. And that is textbook boost canal. Okay. I mean, I think my technique kind of works. It works a little bit, but I mean, it's a little, it's a lot erratic as is everything that happens on this track. Uh, 
level 8 has exploded. I'm honestly surprised more things haven't been exploding. Ewan's had a good lap. Ewan's come from nowhere. Um, definitely Gliska and Mew have, have, are having more luck. I think, in general, if you're on your own, you are probably a little faster than if you are in groups of vehicles. Uh, that does seem to be the way it goes uh, when you're in groups of vehicles because you just tangle with each other a lot. Um, it's probably not quite as fast. I mean, there might be other ways to, to get around here. There might be other techniques uh, to try and get around these, these corners. I mean, there's a fair amount of luck involved or unluck, such as that. Um, I mean, Vortex sort of helped us by straightening us up. I don't really think I have much steering left. Um, uh oh. Okay, no. Oh, save of the day. Right there, that was rec well, save, save of the day. That was a hell of a recovery. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're so far away from the next checkpoint. Can I cheese it at all? Do we reckon? Uh, no, I don't think I can. Oh, god damn it. Oh, all the positions, they have slipped away on the final lap of the race. Damn it. I don't know whether we might have been able to cheese the next checkpoint if we had kept going. Oh, thank you. We have blocked said track. Track is a little bit blocked, so we are going for the uh, brute force. Actually, we probably could have got that checkpoint, to be honest. Um, we are now just legit flying. There, there's no car on the ground there. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Liam's out. Mute's got second. Uh, you could probably... Actually, I wonder if you flew into the infield. You could probably... I mean, it would be very much against the spirit of the map, but you could probably get most of the checkpoints from inside uh, the area. Uh, we are going for... We're going for a stunning little sequence of corners here. Um, which, if we can manage to pull it off, we might net a fifth. Depends on where this turquoisey car ends up. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Yeah, I can't get out of there. <laughs> oh, we're not going to get the fifth. We're going to end up... I should have just gone for the uh, post. Should have gone for the post at the... Uh, at the, the gatey bit. Ah. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it and blast and all of that. Um, I say that, we got seventh. Vortex got fastest lap at a 146. My fastest lap was a 213. I had the worst lap of the top 10. Not by a long way, but uh, <laughs> to be fair, on that final lap, I had an absolutely stunning section that uh, we made a lot of time up on. And then it went wrong. <laughs> Uh, where is Longbow? Let's go and find out. I know Longbow exploded. Um, and has probably gone and climbed to Chiliad or something. Uh, oh no, Longbow has just crossed the finish line. Um, yeah, it was a seventh. It could have gone worse. Um, it could have. It could. It could have gone. Could have gone worse in that one. Um, <laughs> Probably will next time. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna give a warning here. There is quite a legitimate chance that this will break the game. Okay, there is there is a very legitimate chance that this one is going to break the game. Uh, basically, we're going to turn wanted levels on, which are going to spawn an awful lot of army people and vehicles. Now, when we film this. Even with a small lobby, Longbow got stuck infinitely respawning. Um, it just wouldn't load them in. There are there are potentially going to be long reset times if you have to respawn um, or get shot. Uh, the, just the sheer amount of stuff going on, there is a real chance that it could break the game. So, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it at this point. There, there, there is legitimately nothing that we can really do about it. Just... Um, uh, oh, it was yeah, it was it was Amy, Joe, and Amy. Yeah, Amy, Joe, and Lombo got AFK kicked because they couldn't spawn in. So <laughs> there, there, there is a legit possibility of things being very broken here. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, 
going to be interesting. And even if you are correct, if you own the hangar, you might not get a wanted level. Here's the thing. Okay. Everyone else does. Soldiers are going to be in the canal. You're going to run one over fairly soon. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the chances are, even if you don't auto-spawn with a wanted level, you're probably going to find one. And if not, there's still going to be soldiers around all the time getting in the way, and tanks, and all sorts of vehicles. Uh, so yeah, who knows what's going to happen? Um, who who knows what's going to happen uh, in in all of this? Oh, uh, turn that off. Uh, also, there was going to be a warning for Hippie Slayer for being a plank and pushing people out of the finish line. Come on, be better than that. Like, this this is a silly track. This is a very, very silly race. You don't need to go and be an arsehole about it. Um, right. Uh, doesn't really matter. Because NZ have music turned off anyway. All of that is good to go. We're going to go compacts. I would imagine we're going to have the um, Izzy Classic. I can't turn the traffic on. Although it might spawn random. It's going to spawn random vehicles anyway. Uh, so, yeah. I am sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh, I, I say I am sorry. We know what's going to happen. Oh, it's the Panto! Okay. I mean, the Panto is... Not the worst driving thing in the world, but it is going to fall over a lot. Uh... It's going to fall over a lot. Well, it's going to fall over a lot here. It's quite top heavy. I mean, it's slightly less. You're slightly less likely to be shot because. Well, slightly less likely to be shot than in the Golf Caddy because, you know, you've got a little bit better protection. Still not great, but, you know. Um, here, here we go. Into. Oh, that was a weird. Oh, uh, damn. That was a weird... I thought I was still in ghost mode uh, against Mafia. Oh, whoa! No, that doesn't work. Okay, the steering to the wall technique doesn't work with the Panto. Uh, we did explode. I was actually mid-reset when that exploded. Oh, God, these things absolutely fly. Um, okay, things to be aware of. Very, very flighty cars uh, here. Um, I'm still... Look I can't really, can't really turn around. I think you're just better off... There. Waiting until there. Don't know where Valatane came from at that point. <laughs> what? Oh, that's a Jeep. I thought that was a Panto. I wonder how it got there. I still wonder how the Jeep had got there. There's another flying Panto. Pff! Yellow car. It wasn't a Lado, whoever it was. Oh, we're out the track again. I just don't have any luck staying in the boost canal at the moment. Oh, we're so far back. <laughs> we are so, so far back in this. Oh, dearie me. That's a wall. That's still... Still bad times. Oh, no, good times. Better times. Hello, Richard Hammond. Oh, no. And cartwheelie time, followed by landing and... Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh, you know what? Still going. Was going the right direction, not going the right direction anymore. I'm upside down in a wall. Uh, can we be looking the right direction at some point? Maybe? Possibly? Oh. Uh, we are good to kind of go. We're going to bounce off everything. That's a wall. Right. Ah, we'll, uh, no. We will not pass Drake. We will get into a bit of trouble down here. Go on. Move. Move. You've got me stuck on a wall. <laughs> well, we <laughs> just boot a car out of the way. Well, it actually didn't really boot it much out of the way. It just kind of moved a little bit. A few more things have exploded. Uh, right. Oh, I missed the whole steering into the wall. It gave some control over the... Uh, you're coming with me, apparently. <laughs> oh, and stick the landing, maybe? I mean, we've kind of... Uh, kind of caught up. Somebody has just been... Is that Liam? Yeah, Liam has just got kicked... Oh, no, not Liam. Uh, as Lineko got kicked out of the... I saw an L in a dark grey car and just assumed... <laughs> That green vehicle's having a bad day. Oh! <laughs> How far did he kick the red car? <laughs> I 
is so far away. <laughs> oh, I'd say I'm sorry, but I'm not. Not that I have any control over what happens in this either. That was just, that was an amazing amount of distance we managed to get on them. We're on to the second. I don't really think the army quite know what to do at this point. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not sure uh, what the army realistically can do. At the, I mean, all you have to do is park a truck in the canal and you kind of stop this. But they're not that clever. Uh, oh! Hello! <laughs> Found a new shortcut. Not that it really made me any time. We just pinned salmon against a wall. Uh... <laughs> Uh, didn't think we weren't supposed to do that. It w wasn't wasn't the intended way that this was going to work. However, off the wall, you bugger. And it's fine. It's less fine, but we are still going the right direction at the moment. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, we're up to 17th. I guess that's something, right? Oh, no, off. Stop climbing so bloody high. It just wants to escape the canal. I can't say I blame it particularly, but... Oh! Hello. There's some people shooting at us there. Kevlar is stuck pointing the wrong way. Has been helped and helped and less helped. And now I've been helped a bit as well. There we go. We're 14. Uh, Ewan is leading the way. Somehow. Uh-oh. I mean, if you were really... I say if you were really skilled slash really lucky, you could probably get away with bouncing off like some of these walls and get like the transition from like one side to the other. I just don't think you ever quite have enough in-air control to do it. Um, you can kind of like rocket league fly the cars down some of these sections if you get it right. Uh, oh, that was such a good that was such a good run and then a green car got in the way. God damn it. Um, right. Try and get that down off. Uh, actually, you know, run the wall. Actually, like running up on the wall isn't too bad. Uh, whoop. Oh, soldiers, duck. If you manage to shoot out a tyre, I'd be very annoyed. Because, um, <laughs> you know, of everything that's going on, the, uh, nope, don't even think about blocking the track. Don't you bloody dare go for me. There's plenty of other people who could... Well, oh, I ain't got much steering there. There's bullets pinging off everywhere. You're fine. Okay, that's actually quite a good lap at the end of that. Uh, you know what? That works for me. The pink car can help us a little bit unintentionally, but still. Right, boost off there. Eh, there's a bit of a solid stop. I was hoping for more momentum carried, but never mind. Liam has exploded. And Danger Man has got the lead of the race. Panto, please get down from there. Please. Uh, oh, Longbow! Hello! <laughs> Haven't seen you for a while. How is it going on this mad track? It was your creation, this one. Uh oh. Oh no, we landed that one quite nicely. There is a longbow, I think, in the air somewhere. I just don't quite know where. Uh, oh. But, <laughs> bad longbow! <laughs> longbow has turned up. All is fine. All is fine. Oh, that is an ambitious helicopter shot, but I tell you what, they got close. Uh, considering what they are trying to shoot at is a smart car going at warp speed in a very little canal. Uh, uh oh. Nope. Okay, that's, that's good. That's more like it. This could be a stunning lap time if it carries on. Land it. Lovely stuff. Less lovely, but we can land this one here. We do. We're up to eighth. Uh, maybe seventh if we pass Drake, which it is now seventh place. Keep on the railing. Okay, and smack the wall. That's fine. It stops us dead. We're up to sixth position now. Ewan is 15 seconds clear, but... Uh, it uh, could be a lot worse. Again, could be an awful lot worse. Oh, we are battling Liam for position. Hello, Liam. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, helicopter. That was a hell of a lap. That might be... I'd say it might be a fastest lap of the race. I don't know. But um, that was definitely that was definitely in with a shout of being one of the fastest laps of the race there. Uh, I mean, it wasn't perfect, and this one here has gone a little bit awry. Actually, this one here has gone a lot awry. Actually, I think, to be honest, if you um, lost a tyre, I don't think you'd notice much difference, really. It's so out of control anyway, it wouldn't matter. It's not like you can do much with your car's handling anyway. Uh, right. Okay, off the wall. Other way. Lovely. That's more like it. There is some dancing out of control cars up ahead. We will 
ride the wall. Can I get the transition? Oh, come on, land it, land it, land it. Oh, beautifully landed. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's gone wrong. Why is that? How is that there? How is that not into here? Oh, no, 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 no. Run away. <laughs> We had such a good section that got us to fourth, and then we got really screwed by the military jeep. Uh, <laughs> we caught up to... I think we were actually with the battle for the lead there at that point. I think Mute was in that group. So that, that start to that lap was astonishing. And then it went all wrong with the military jeep turned up. And now we've fallen back to 8th. And I've lost control of my camera. That's not normally what happens. Still lost control of the camera. Off the wall. Yep. Ah, oh, but... Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> it has all gone wrong. We can bounce off that wall. That's fine. Ah, oh, we didn't even land facing the right direction. God oh, damn it. It was, it was all going so well. And I'll smack into the post because it stops you from going too far. Liam has claimed victory at the end there. Oh, the military have finally decided to put up a kind of blockade. Why is there a police car in here is the next question. Oh, oh no, my tyre. There's a finish line. We're sick. <laughs> Take it. Oh, uh, uh, Amy, I will try and spectate you when I can. Oh, dear. What have you done? How have you ended up there? I don't know where Lado is either. Oh, Lado's... Oh. And then I think I was spectating Lado, actually. I then just clicked on the wrong person. I think it defaulted to uh, spectating on Lado. Ugh. <laughs> we, we rather broke that. We rather... We rather... Well, I mean, it, to be fair, it didn't actually completely break the game. Um, as much as I thought, I really thought it was going to completely decimate the game. No, that is Lado. Oh, no. Uh, see, I only saw the pink car and I assumed I was looking at Amy, but no, Lado's is in there as well. Um, what has happened? Oh, Amy's respawned or being killed, I suspect, is the better thing. Lado. I mean, Lado is relatively safe. Kind of. I have not got much control of the camera. <laughs> kind of just stuck here. It's just a pile of bodies and Lado. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the camera. Uh, that is a hell of a mess you've managed to make of this bit of the track. Is that Longbow or... That might be Valentine, somebody down there. Um, uh, what a wonderful, glorious mess. What a wonderful, glorious mess that one was. Liam claimed victory in the end. We were doing so well. We were absolutely flying. Ah, oh, you and beat our lap time by a couple of seconds. Um, God damn it. Well then, you and in the 48s. I thought my 50.2 was quick, and it, but it was. We were seven seconds quicker almost than anybody else. Just Ewan was even faster. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> oh. The boost canal. The boost canal at its very finest. Uh, right there. Causing... Causing... Uh, complete mayhem. Uh, Buster Hyman, thank you for the donation uh, saying uh, let's organize a massive go-karting uh, meetup well there is funnily enough i was editing it today um there there is that we have we went go it's a while ago now we went go-karting um we have had some filming crew uh, go-karting stuff there is a video of that coming soon uh which is uh it was just good fun some very good racing uh so yeah that should that should be out hopefully it was, it was hope, well, in a push it was going to be Saturday, it won't be, but uh, it should be ready for next Saturday, finally. It's been a long time. Uh, it's been a, say, been a long time. Uh, <laughs> pain in the ass to edit. Um, and yeah, other things have taken priority, etc. But uh, yeah, go-kite. We, we do very much enjoy the, uh, 
enjoy the old uh, the old go karting. Um, Grumpy old git racing. Thank you for the donation. Uh, saying that was a merry madness. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, that basically sums it up. That basically sums it up. Uh, it was a very good amount of chaos. Uh, I love how the game has given me a brown. Um, what's it called? We've been given a brown cavalcade. It's like it knew. It's like it knew we needed a frosty gold machine. And uh, everybody needs a frosty gold machine some, from time to time. I mean, it's normally. It, no, no. Uh, I, want, I want that. That's what we want. Um, oh, I don't have access to it. Well, that's boring. <laughs> Yeah, I love, I love that it knew. I love that it knew we needed a uh, a frosty gold cavalcade. Uh, hello, Apollo. How are you doing? You've just woken up now. Is it because you heard a cat rummaging around? That's why. Yeah, you heard a cat, didn't you? And now you're going to go stare out the window because that's all you bloody do when you're up here. Um... Yeah, they, he just he likes to sit and watch and then bark if anything. Well, no, he'll sit and watch. He only barks if a dog walks past. Uh, are you a mugger? I don't know. I'm going to shoot you just to be safe. <laughs> I couldn't decide if it was a mugger or not. And I figured the safe option was to shoot it. Uh, oh, dear. Okay, no, that has flown overhead. Sure. I uh, got fly, fly through. Oh, that's looking the wrong way. No. So try fly through the tunnel. But the, that is always an interesting, interesting challenge, to say the least. Um, right. Shall we? Oh, what's the time? I know where we're going next. So we will. Bookmarked. Here we go. Uh, it will be off to. The legendary straight line circuit. So, for this, we are going to run the I Morgan and the Vam Vamos. Uh, I think the Vamos is selectable. It should be. The I Morgan we know is terrible. Uh, we, we know that's a sports car, isn't it? Uh, that is a very, very difficult car to run down here. I don't know if we've we driven the Vamos. We must have driven the Vamos at some point down here. Um, so, yeah, we will go. Everybody from last job, just in case they didn't get dumped into the session with me. Um, all right, Apollo, you can go back to sleep now, buddy. Yeah, you can. It's all good. Yep, he just, he, he woke up, he had a quick check outside, and then he's gone <laughs> flopped back down. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's easier than him desperately wanting attention, and... I mean, he headbutts, kind of, like the cat does, only his headbutts are a lot more uh, powerful, a lot more forceful. Um, though apparently, we have we have run the Vamos down here, I won with him. Oh, cool. <laughs> I don't remember, but apparently we have. Uh, awesome. Okay, yeah, so for this first race, everybody, first race, we are driving the I Morgan. Okay? The I Morgan. That's that's the one we are going for. Don't be um say so don't don't be cheating, don't be boring. And uh select the uh say so try to select the right car. I know there's a lot of sports cars to get through. Try and select the right one. Okay. Uh right, let's go and get this started. A H two G two. Uh thank you for the donation. Saying the cult spreads its message with zest. Upon you all, its message impressed that all numbers are are brothers, none better than others, but one number is much more nice than the rest. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know whether to give you a boo for the terrible, like a, a boo for the terrible kind of pun, but also it is a good limerick. It is a very good limerick indeed. All uh, right, so I've got to quickly spam through here and find where it is, the I Morgan, uh, because of course, yes, the Cult of 69 has once more taken over the donation bar, as is there is the horrible, weird thing. Jeez, a lot of people read it up very quickly. Uh, did not give... Uh, we're definitely not getting everybody 
in this. Some people will have not cycled through here quick enough to get to it. Um, I can already see one of a Lyra <laughs> is in the mix. Um, all right, here we go. Here we go. So if you, again, if you haven't seen Straight Line, I mean, the name is pretty obvious as to what we're doing. You're driving a straight line. However, as you can see, well, it is not quite so easy. So there are two reasons why it's difficult. First of all, these cars have an insane amount of overspeed in the slipstream. Uh, the second is if you lightly make contact with the back of one, they tend to fly around a lot. Uh, for no discernible reason. So, yeah, it gets very silly very quickly. Uh, oh dear. Mavi's having an accident and there's nothing I can do to avoid that one. Uh, we get a huge slingshot. Uh, oh, it's, oh, it's Liam with a Valyra. The Valyra is actually not very good. Uh, I, I like the car. It's kind of based on the Weisman, but uh, it gets damaged quite easily, which is not what you know. I've got no steering as I go over the crest. No steering. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Oh, that was a lot of overspeed. And there's, there's no point waiting in this. It's way too dangerous. Um, you, you can't wait. And you will catch back up because the leaves will never get very far away because it's just permanent flat out. I've climbed the wall somehow. I'm not quite sure how we've climbed the wall, but uh, we, we have. Uh, here comes the next line of cars. Oh. Mafia is having a very big accident. I'm not going to get much. Oh, this is facing the wrong way. I was having to lift there. Uh, oh, no. The bloody Italia got in the way. That's not what we needed at all. Something else. Is that a Lado? Possibly. Don't know. <laughs> no idea. It's all a bit messed up. Uh, right. God. I did not get the... Not put out the slipstream at the right time there. Liam has... I'm going to presume had an accident because it's going very slowly. He's just, just kind of recovering. That's, yep, yeah, that's why you don't bump draft with these. Doesn't really work. Right, here comes some cars. <laughs> don't think they realised. Oh, Liam was on the inside, which is understandable. I thought I was far enough away to avoid that, but apparently not. It was just a car having an accident. Going like you, you suddenly you go over a crest and suddenly there's a car having an accident, and it's like, well. There's only so much I can do. There's only so much grip as well. When these are in the slipstream going downhill, uh, the front lifts up. So you you have absolutely no steering uh, in them. Come on. Where's that slipstream? Oh, it's not. Oh, there it goes eventually. Yeah. It's so fast when the slipstream does kick in. Uh, we are clear of Lado. Now, this is, if we can do this, if we can work together, this would be good. Uh, although I think Lado might have gone. No, I don't. I think Lado might have lifted possibly to try and stay in the slipstream um, either that or it just went out of the slipstream at the wrong point, I mean you will catch up especially with this amount of cars around um, oh the Italia's had it, oh that's why it had a death I forgot about the turnaround point having an explosion -y bit. yeah I don't even know if you want to be in the lead group for this because it's about to go badly wrong for everybody yep, I need to get the checkpoint still um I'm disappointed in the filming's crew inability to get the right car for this one. Uh, really. <laughs> so it's mostly the filming crew that have the wrong car. Uh, oh, there's a red thing having an accident. Uh, but that's just a barrel going for a flight. And we are out the other side. I mean, we actually did quite well from the turnaround. Considering. Like, we didn't really we didn't lose much. Um, we didn't, guess, it didn't quite gain as much. Uh, oh! Well, I'm back pointing the right way again. Uh, <laughs> let's go and sit in the draft. Uh, we'll go. Wee! There's a Liam. Uh, we've got so much speed. Lado, go! <laughs> <laughs> That did, that did not have the effect I expected it to have. Like, I love how, like, we, whoa, no. Oh, no. We turned up with a, like, just stupid amount of speed, and I thought the only possible person to give that speed to was Lado, and I expected it to be a massive accident, and it really wasn't. It just kind of pushed Lado forward. That was one of the most controlled, huge bump drafts I've ever managed to do 
with this, it shouldn't have done... Well, that, that, that is not how you expect that to go. You expect it to go in a very big crash, to be honest. Um, and yeah, it just, it, it just kind of lightly upset Lado's car. And that was sort of it. We've got ourselves in a position where we've not quite got a draft that we wanted. Um, there goes Ewan. We all want to get in the draft of that, but that thing's just gone. Uh, so we can't really do that. Uh, yeah, we're all a little bit too close together. And so no one's really getting any draft here. This is just going to pass us and won't even... Uh, actually, maybe Gliska will. Yeah, because Gliska didn't actually slingshot as far past as is sort of expected. Uh, but I've not quite stayed with it. We're going to have to wait for Shadow, I think, to catch up and then hope that we can go with them. Which has not worked either. Big crash up ahead. There's a gap to aim for. This car's twisting around. Yeah, we actually... Where did the yellow car go? Did it disconnect? Something. I'm not quite sure. Um, we've got... We're just in no man's land at the moment. Um, which is awful. It's kind of the worst place to be stuck in. There's only so much that we can really do. Uh... We need some more vehicles around to kind of work with. And we need them to not catch us. Uh, okay, this gaggle of cars might work. How far away are we from? Oh, we're going to get... We're, no, we're not going to do it. We're going to run out of run out of race, I think. Un unless... Oh, unless we get really lucky here. Which it is not impossible, because it's straight line and literally anything can happen. Or that one can happen. And we don't get really lucky. Ah... Uh, yeah, I got the, the slipstream at the wrong place. I think Lado might actually win from the legit race that was going on. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, we just got we got stuck in no man's land for too long, and by the time we caught the sort of tail end of the pack, it was not quite uh, not quite working. Level eight. It's funnily enough not having a great race with the uh, with the blister in that one. Uh, okay, so yeah, Lado wins uh, with the I uh, Morgans. Well done, Lado. Uh, ahead of Salmon and Danger Man uh, with the uh, Vortex Shadow. Uh, we just got stuck. We got stuck at the point where we didn't have anything dragging us forward. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we just ended up, uh, once you end up in the uh, kind of the area without any slipstream, it's very difficult to catch back up. And the, a pack caught us, and then we couldn't really make the most of it. Which is uh, a little bit of a shame. Okay. We will head next to the Vamos. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, this can only go well. This can only go well indeed. So, the Vamos is not quite as bad in some ways, is the I Morgan. So, the contact isn't as bad. It's bad, but it's not as bad. However, the difficulty with the, the Vamoose is it wanders. So, you're kind of going down a straight, and the car will sort of wander left and right, and it's all very floaty and a bit uncomfortable, is probably the best way to describe it. It is just uncomfortable. So, yeah. We will get the Vamoose ready for this. Uh, uh, place your bets, oh wonderful folks of chat. <laughs> on uh, how... Okay, here we go, chat. Here's, here, here's what you can guess on. At what point am I going to have a massive accident? How many, probably seconds, into, uh, into the race... Is, is it going to be until I? Not until everyone else. Um, until I have a massive, massive accident. Because I don't think it's going to take long. Uh, it's not It's not going to take very long at all. Um, so yeah, everybody, we are driving the Vamoose. Uh, it is easier if you go left on the analog stick through the cars to get to it. Much, much easier to, uh, to get to it like that. So we can hopefully get everybody... Um, to it. Danger message, I'm, if I'm behind you about 12 seconds in. So a big crash will consist in like 
spinning or anything where you go pretty much to a standstill. Uh, so let's let's see. We've got uh, 91 seconds. Zav is feeling. Zav is feeling confident. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We will. I will. I will try my best. I will try my best not to have a massive accident, but it's not happening. Um, it's definitely, definitely not happening. Um, right, here it is. <laughs> One of the worst handling cars in the game, which is a shame because it's kind of cool. Like it is, it's kind of a cool vehicle. I think there's some fun upgrades to it as well. But it handles just terribly. And it's not even... It's, it's not even that it doesn't have much grit. It's that it just has a mind of its own. For, for no discernible reason. Oh, well, I see somebody's got a slam truck. Oh, we have, oh God, we have a ladder alongside. It's definitely not going to be long <laughs> until we have a tremendous accident. I'm actually surprised it's letting... Uh, Lado have the... Normally it doesn't let you have, like, masks and stuff in the cars. Um, but there we go. Oh! Oh, it was eight seconds and we're facing the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it was a slight bit of an intentional one from the Danger Man. We are still having a spin. We're still not... Um, Uh, what's my called? <laughs> Still not back under control. Uh, we are now pointing the right way. Um, yeah, within 30 seconds, things were going very badly wrong. Uh, pretty much. For us. Um, right. Somehow we're still 8th. Which does beg the question. Right. It does, it does beg the question. If we're still 8th, how badly did things go for everybody else? <laughs> like... Oh no, I changed direction and now it doesn't want to stop changing direction. It just wants to keep wandering left and right. Uh, I've got a lot of a lot of slipstream going on there, but... Oh. <laughs> you can see how ridiculously difficult these things are to drive, because they just... You go to pull out the slipstream and the car just wants to keep changing direction, so you then... You kind of fight it going left, you fight it going right. We've got a great run down here. And then you just can't get it back in a straight line. You can see Lado's still not got that thing back under control. You want to do as little steering as possible, which... Oh, considering we're on a track that's in a straight line, you'd think would be easy. But it is not. It is far from easy. Um, <laughs> this is why I don't like the car. Uh, we have got... Oh, dear. No, again, did not... I intended to pull out the slipstream before that point, but the car... Oh, hello. Oh, we've been overtaken by a crash. I don't even know how that happens. How does that happen? <laughs> how does a crash overtake us? <laughs> Only in straight line. And, well, maybe, I guess Boost Canal, you kind of get overtaken by a crash, but it's almost a permanent crash, so I don't think it counts. But only in straight line can... Oh, I don't want to make that... have that contact. The only on this track can you have a crash go on behind you, but it be carrying so much momentum that it ends up overtaking you. There's a gap there. <laughs> we found the gap just about. Oh, Mute's having a big wobble. Uh, <laughs> I think Lado lag killed a longbow. We had all sorts of uh, issues, just handling related issues going on there. Oh, Zach's got some lag occurring, which is not helping matters. Um, it seems like my my internet's not the only one having a bit of an iffy day. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry for OBS still being derpy. Um, this is probably... I don't know, it's not, it's not got crazy scenery to load, I guess. So it shouldn't be too... I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's a gap there, but it's really difficult to aim for said gap because the car just isn't precise. It is the least precise instrument in the world, the, uh, the Vamos. Uh, right. Good run will put us to the lead of the race. Uh, the truck's turning up. <laughs> and the truck's had a crash. <laughs> oh! We don't get to blow anybody up. Oh, that's disappointing. God damn it. Also, dog, have you decided to go... Have you decided to curl up on the backpack like the cats do? I feel like that is, uh... Oh. 
Well, we went, we went to turn around that way. Ah. There's a lot of mess occurring there. Ah, Lado. No, Griska. Ah, oh, actually, Lado kind of saved us on that one. Uh, oh, why did that wall just bounce us out of it? Why is the wall bouncing us back out? I thought that wall was flat. Apparently it isn't. Uh, there's a big bundle and a big wreck. Yeah, that wall is not flat. And Lado, <laughs> Lado found the, uh, like, missile... Uh, what's it called? Holder, I guess? Um, and that's... Uh, Enough to roll the... Well, not quite roll it fully. Uh, this car. It really does just every so often decide it wants to go a direction and that's it. And you have so little control um, over... Oh, Valentine's having a bad day along with Ladder. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, you careful. There's an orange out... Oh, no. Why are you falling over at like five miles an hour? Oh, we're on a blind crest. That's a horrible place to have an accident. Uh, <laughs> that was so slow and it fell over. Oh, it was terrible. Liam's turned up with the... Uh, well, the Beta Jukes, I mean, it's not that fast, just better handling. I don't think it has the best handling in the world. Oh, it's also flying. And it's eaten a wall. Oh, it's lagging and I've... I mean... It's rather difficult to dodge Liam when you do not know where the Liam is. Uh, it does make life... Oh, sorry. Uh, still not back pointing a direction that is of any use. Still not stopped spinning. Oh, dearie me, this race has gone very bad. It was all going kind of alright. I think we're done. I don't think we catch back up again now. I think we might be a little too far back. Um, me and Gliska will work together, if we can, uh, to make this happen. So basically what I'm going to do is I don't actually want to pull too far away from Gliska. Uh, we want to do this in such a way... Oh, Gliska came across a little bit too soon. <laughs> Although whether that was intentional, that might have been the car getting light coming over the crest, to be honest with you. Um... Right, because, yeah, this is unlike the normal cars where you kind of leave it until the last second to pull out the draft. These you can't because the last second they wander. So you've got to kind of pull out of the draft. Oh, bloody hell. Visca's car was up on its side. We've got a good run here. We might have to break up the team, find a gap. Oh, there was a gap. Oh, Gliska didn't make it. No. Our drafting partner is gone. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's another big crash. Where is the gap going to appear? There it is. Keep foot down. Do not lift. Never lift. No lifting. No lifting. No! I mean, lifting wouldn't have helped there. <laughs> Wait, there's a Lado. Oh, the leaders are a long way out. We're actually really spread out um, at the moment. We might have a Lado drafting partner this time around. Okay, come on. I'm going to lift going up the hill. Come on. Just a little bit of lifting to make sure. Because if we try and, do, try and do it on our own, it won't work. So what we've got to do... We've got to try and yeah try and get the drafting partners to the system to work. Uh, unfortunately, Lado might have slingshotted straight into the path of uh, the vehicle ahead. Uh, I think uh, either that or his, either the draft died or Lado was going to wait. Uh, our best bet to catch. Ah, oh, it's too late now. It's too. It's too late to catch the leaders. They're long gone. Ah, God damn. It was, uh, yeah, we just had a really bad, we had a bad bit of luck with a slightly lagging, lagging Liam. Um, what can you do? Like, at, at that point, what, what, what can you do? It's Danger Man that takes a victory ahead of, uh, Midnight Ewan third, uh, ahead of Zack. Uh, then Level 8 Mute, Salmon, Lado, uh, Lineko, and, uh, me. <laughs> Uh, it's that's the straight line for you. If you haven't seen the straight line before, it is a wonderful track. Uh, this one, undoubtedly, but um, yeah, when you fall out of the draft, then you are in a little bit of trouble, to say the least. Ah. Uh. Right, what is the time? Uh, we'll have time for one more race. And then we will have time for some sumo. You know, the all-important 
Ooh. the all important sumo. Um, uh, Drake Awalala, oh, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying Drake was having fun on the stream today. Uh, life for him seemed to get better right away, but he didn't get far in his choice of car, letting <laughs> Alex take victory swiftly. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, I like the limericks. I do like the limericks. Yeah, it's it's um, unfortunate so when when you pick the wrong cards. And to be fair, sometimes it is easy to uh, to get the to get the the wrong vehicles because um, you don't get a huge amount of time. Um, I feel like I think it like speeds up the time when like fifty percent of the people have selected their car, which is kind of okay for normal rate, but it's a bit of a pain when you're trying to get everyone, especially to a specific car. Uh, well, this is a place to start and a half. <laughs> sure, let's all... Uh, I didn't know we all spawn on Chiliad when we do... Do we normally spawn on Chiliad when we do this? I guess we do. For whatever reason. Uh... <laughs> Well, I mean, there's a helicopter up here. God knows. Oh, no, no, now there are people appearing. This is a absolute mess of a spawning. <laughs> I love that we've all spawned in Asterope. We have the great Asterope Championship for uh, running downhill. Oh, our Danger Man's got in this. Um, there is a lot... Longbow! Would you like a lift? Um, no? Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. It, it does kind of roll quite a lot, this. Lado! Hello. You've made that difficult for yourself. Oh, Longbow has shuffled over. I didn't even know you could do that, actually. <laughs> yes, Lado. Stand on the roof. It's definitely the way to go down the hill. Uh, right. This is not even. This is not the normal downhill chaos. It'd be a long time since I've had to drive down, like actually drive, drive down Chile yet. Uh, oh, this is normally the uh, way to climb up. Oh, bloody hell! We're gonna get exploded by a, a, a ladder, I suspect, at some point. Uh, right, we can we can figure this out. I can remember how to drive. Oh, and the, the, the bushes are ridiculously mean. I do remember that. Uh, the bushes just suck all of the speed out of your vehicles. Sometimes it's useful if you're out of control. Most of the time it isn't. Oh! I think, <laughs> I think the fact I spun saved me. I will never be able to do that so well ever again. This bit, Lado has bailed. I feel like I'd rather be in the car at this point. Uh, Lado's amazingly survived quite well. And uh, we're fine. Lado less less fine. Um, <laughs> I think the spinning wildly out of control, dodging rockets from a helicopter, might be uh, might possibly be stunt of the day. It was largely unintentional, but it was uh, a happy side effect of it all. Um, I feel like this is the safest place to be. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is a good this is a good place. Um, I mean, the helicopter might try and get low enough that it can uh, can fire into here, but I think it would it would struggle. I'm not gonna say that it can't, but it would probably struggle. Ah, oh, Lado is here as well. Um, it's not very often that uh, you end up using these kind of like way. Um, I guess like greenhouses, sort of, as uh, protection. Because let's face it, <laughs> they're not going to stop anything. However, in GTA Land, they're all bloody hell. That was close. Uh, that one there was also successful. <laughs> we we did kill them, unfortunately. 
And the rocket was already fired. How the first rocket managed to miss us, I don't know, actually. But, uh... There we go. Right. I do believe it is, uh... I do believe it's time for a race. I'm going to very quickly load up a race. I've got to go to the loo. But I'm going to load a race. We'll get people joined. I will head to the loo. Oh, I know a race we were going to do. It was a Lado track for us. Um, possibly with some new car. Uh, actually, no, wait. We're going to save that. I'm going to save that to film it for a video, and then it might make it into a stream at some point. It's a later date. Uh, let's go to... You know what? Let's go to... I made a thing 11. Why not? We'll go to a Ewan circuit. Um, what could go wrong? What could go wrong with... Uh, a Ewan track? I'm sure... Nothing... Uh, too bad? Can't even remember this track, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. The I made a thing series was... It's pretty decent. Right, okay. We're going to send everybody invite. I'm going to go to the loo quick. I shall be back in a minute.
Right. Hello, everybody. I am back. I'm glad it hasn't managed to uh, kick me out of this one. All uh, right. Shall we get started? Yeah, we'll go with some sport classic cars. Why not? Um, yeah. Uh, oh, of course, uh, Apollo has to follow me everywhere. We've now got... Uh, we now had a swapper system as he decided to curl up on his bed downstairs, so I've left him there. We've now got cats, and Cass has come to say hello immediately. Alright, let's I mean, begin some racing. Uh, let's, let's see what happens, uh, and then we will inevitably um, try some sewer afterwards. Yes, you're very noisy. You're noisier than the dog. What's going on? Uh, and cat is flopped. I mean, Cass, you're not quite as big as the dog when you, like, flop on the floor. And you're not. <laughs> I mean, you are a big cat, but even you are nowhere near as big as the dog. Um, right. We have... I, oh, I remember, I remember this track. This is the one that's kind of like a Formula E circuit, which is probably going to be a little bit of a problem for a stream race where there are 20-odd vehicles going. What well, could go wrong with this? Uh, <laughs> many things. So this is a very difficult to overtake on circuit, which does make for a very good challenge. You can have some very good races around here. Um, but yeah, you've got to be patient. You've got to bide your time. Um, this is probably your main overtaking spot is down here. Uh, into this corner. Um, the rest of the lap... Oh, let's go make a little mistake. The rest of the lap, you've got to be very, very patient with... I how tight that corner was. Um, yeah, you've got to be quite patient before you can get a pass done a lot of the time. there. Are, it is narrow, of course, with the walls going on. And, yeah. It, uh, if you can get a clean, clean race, it's great fun around here. But... Uh, Easy to make mistakes and easy to have kind of semi-track blocking accidents. Oh, careful with that wall. Glisk has got a good run down there uh, into these kind of hairpin sections. I think we've got a chicane coming up, if I remember rightly, here. Which, again, is another place. Might be able to get a pass done just before the chicane. We do. And we can drive the car into there. And we are fine. Okay, so... <laughs> I say it's a difficult place to overtake, and then me and Gliska are swapping positions every day. It wasn't what we found the first time we raced here. Although I think the swinger was easier to pass with than the other, the other car was we drove around here. Uh, we have got a good run out of the final corner. Uh, already the field is quite spread out, and that is quite likely to be a thing. Uh, it, is, it is likely to be a more spread out field than some of the other tracks that, uh, that we have gone to. If anything, we're a little bit too close to Gliska here. Uh, we're up onto two wheels. Danger Man is going to get both of us. Yep. <laughs> uh, I did not get the run that I needed out of that uh, section. We have got a great run off this corner, but not got anywhere to go with it. This is out a little bit wide. <laughs> asking, like I'm, I'm sat here watching. I mean, this is asking for trouble. We're trying to get involved, of course, if there's any place that we can make a pass stick. Because now they're stuck side by side. Oh. Ah. <laughs> this bounce off the inside wall actually ended up slowing me down almost as much because I didn't really have anywhere to go. Uh, there is a little bit of overtaking opportunity here. Not for me, though. We are just sort of sat watching. Uh, the. I'll take this straight. If we get off the corner well, we might be able to get both of them with a big slipstream pull, which we do. Uh, because they were so close, neither of them really had any slipstream, so we will be sneaky, dive past, and uh, get both. Now we've got a Ewan coming to join the lead battle, and that probably won't take long if the fighting continues as it has done so far. Uh, can we get a good run out of here? We do. Where is Gliska? Also with a good run. Yeah. There is... There is Definitely potential for a slipstream battle to the line. Uh, it will depend on how many cars are in the lead group. Oh, that's a bump on the wall there that I didn't need. Uh, Ewan is here. 
And Ewan is to the inside. It is a four-car battle for the lead. I think it's a big gap back to Lado now. Uh, they might catch us by the end of the race, especially if we do really start fighting and slowing each other down. Uh, Ewan may hold this around the outside. Not quite. <laughs> I, I kind of went for that line as my approach through that corner. Unfortunately, Ewan's a little slow on the exit and I had nowhere to go. Uh, Danger Man did make the most of it, but yeah, I've got nowhere to, <laughs> nowhere to find a way. Which is back to the whole watching brief that we did have before. Only this time we've got Ewan behind us and it won't be long, really, uh, overdrive that corner before Lado and, and Liam join it. With the amount that we're having to lift and kind of be patient here, Oh, that's a bit too much understeer as well. Lado and Liam, and then there's, then there's a whole group. When you get six or seven cars, I think it's really tough to pass here. Uh, <laughs> I think when it's like sort of a 1v1 or sort of three cars, it's a little easier to pass because uh, you can pick and choose your moment. When you've got a group, because you've always got to be aware of what the other cars in the group are doing, that may be. Maybe. Or maybe it'll just... I mean, so far this has been a just incredibly good race. Ewan with a great run out of there. I was just a little bit stuck with nothing going on here. Uh, Gliska gets a big kick of oversteer mid-corner in this. I'm glad they fixed the handling of the Swinger because it's a cool car uh, that was awful to drive previously, but since it's been fixed, it actually does produce some pretty good racing. We've got a good run. We're going through the middle. Danger Man went to the outside. Gliska wouldn't have known. Gliska was busy kind of looking at an orange car in the middle. I thought Ewan was still on the inside. That's why I was given so much space down there. Um, yeah, you're trying, to, you're trying to guess where cars are. Oh, there's some contact there between Danger Man and Gliska. Uh, that sort of cutback can be really effective if you get it right. Uh, unfortunately for me, Gliska with a better run. Oh, what on earth happened to the texture on the back of that? That got very weird all of a sudden. Now we have got a Lado come to join. That's not a gap you've got to put your car in. Uh, and we have a Liam as well. So, it's got busier once more at the front. Um, I'm going to slide out towards the wall. Uh, Danger Man's looking for a brave pass. I mean, it, was, it was well executed. There was space given. It was, uh, yeah, that was a, a reasonable, reasonable, I say reasonable, very good pass. Um, so it's a reasonable place to try it. Oh, little, little bump on the inside wall is going to cost me two places. <laughs> when it's this close at a track like this, the smallest, the smallest error can be very costly. Oh, and we turned Ewan. Uh, right, come on, Ewan, let's go. Uh, I will. Go on, get slipstream. Go, 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 go. <laughs> like it's more advantageous. So I'm. Oh, I said I will wait for for Ewan. Uh, but it's more advantageous for us to slipstream Ewan forward than it is for us to just wait and have no oh, sort of slipstream. It's not quite where you wanted the slipstream, was it? Um, like it helps Ewan get back into the fight better uh, to actually kind of drag them forward, which is why we didn't kind of fully come to a stop in a race like this. Um, Longbow's going to come join the party as well. It's like level 8's not far back. Uh, Alright, it's about to get mad for these final couple of laps. It's going to get completely crazy in these final couple of laps. Oh. Yeah, it's already started. Three wide through here. <laughs> mm, textures go really funny at that corner for unknown reasons. Uh, not gonna, oh, we might be able to sneak past a Lado. Oh, I might actually sneak past a Ewan here as well if we don't put Ewan in a wall. No. And again... It was a good effort, I just couldn't carry the speed on the exit. And it has thrown me out a little bit for these next couple of corners. Longbow got in trouble with the wall. Uh, but that's fine, they've sorted it out now, I think. Uh, yep. Yeah. There's this huge gaggle of cars. Lado's looking to the outside. If you can go around the outside of this bit, you are on the inside for the next part. Ewan's a little slow mid-corner. Well, everyone's a little bit sort of stacked up through there. Ewan with a fantastic run off of the corner is going to get a couple of cars. Uh, we are looking to the inside here. Inside of a three wide towards the final turn is uh, again asking for a little bit of trouble. There's no slipstream for me yet. Oh, there is off the back of Gliska's car. Uh, the gap's just not going to last there. Uh, maybe we should have gone for it. Oh, Gliska's sliding. Lado gets kind of all of us while we're all checked up trying to avoid a sliding Gliska. We've got a good run on the outside, but it's difficult to do much with it out here. Uh, can we? I don't know if we can really carry enough speed to make this work. We might actually be able to get a good exit, but we get stacked up behind Liam. Uh, trying to make. Uh, we might get past the inside done here. The exit 
it's still good enough for us. Ewan's looking <laughs> wide. Well, then that's... Oh, Danger Man's found a gap. You, you find a gap that's big enough for a swinger and you put your car there and you hope it works. Visca, try to look to the inside, can't quite make it happen. We're trying to get around the outside of Danger Man. Nothing giving yet. Uh, don't get too much understeer through there. It's so easily done. Uh, Danger Man is to the outside of Liam. Gliska's there behind us having a look. We're on the outside of a Danger Man. No one's really got any slipstream. Gliska might get us. We've got a great run actually in the middle of all of this. Oh, it's three wide down here, which is not good. It's just you've got to run out of road at that point. There is just not going to be enough space. And we've still got two laps to go here. <laughs> This goes to the lead of the race as we head around the penultimate corner. Oh, Liam got a little bit in trouble there. All is fine. All is sorting itself out. Danger Man's off the wall but straightens it up. I mean, this is a massive battle for the lead of the race. I don't think anyone else is going to be joining it. There's a huge gap behind level 8 to Salmon, although they might join by the end of the race. It's, it's, it's six seconds, but uh, <laughs> the way we're fighting... And uh, that'll probably vanish quite quickly. Yeah, that'll catch before the end of the race with the way we're fighting at the moment. Uh, we're to the inside having a little bit of a sneaky look. Oh, there's synchronization. No, oh, Danger Man's got under Gliska. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Oh, not four wide here. Don't want to be four wide down this part. Danger Man and level eight backed out of it. Uh, we can get a good run on the exit because we've got some slipstream by Lado. Uh, and if we can keep ourselves there, Danger Man won't be able to come back across. We get a slide. Danger Man gets a slide. Glisk has given us a push pretty much alongside Lado. Still side by side with Lado. Oh, me and Liam have done the same thing. <laughs> I was following Liam. We turned in a little bit too soon. Danger Man's climbed the wall. It's got a little bit bumpy, to say the least. Here, we're around the outside of everybody, but we make it work. Uh, there's a draft. I'm trying to just get the last a little tendrils of draft from Liam. Three wide into the chicane is asking for trouble. Uh, Gliska actually had the momentum to get that one done. I was on a really weird line through there that I didn't want to be on. Danger Man is looking and has a good run here. It's always four wide into the penultimate corner. Gliska ducks underneath. I'm happy to follow them. We can get a good run out of here as well. I think we've got one more lap to go in this mess. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, there was just a gap for an orange car, but it was only just. Salmon has joined us. Uh, this is this is asking for calamity, I think, on the final lap of the race. But we are still in with a chance. There's a lot of trading of paint here. What is this? Nine cars for the lead. And it will be the one of these nine cars that wins it, uh, I should think, anyway. It's ten second gap to the vehicle behind. Uh, <laughs> it's just so difficult to make up the time. If you're further back in this pack, there's just so many cars to try and overtake. Oh, to try and get through. Liam with a good cutback. I will get some slipstream off somebody, though. Yeah, Liam was in the wall and out of position. We're trying to follow Danger Man forward a little bit here. Liam to the ins. Oh, well, I tried to cover. Maybe I covered a little bit too late on that one. Either way, we got a little bit of a tag, got a little bit sideways. The slipstream should keep me ahead of Ewan, which is what we need to make sure we do. Can't afford to be losing places now. Uh, we... Oh. Again, there's little bits of contact between everybody has been going on. I think we got on most of the race. Here comes the draft. Liam has got the lead. Ewan's having a look, but there's no room there. Kick of oversteer for a couple of the cars ahead. We get a good run here. Danger Man is going to have a... Oh, Danger Man wants to cover from us. Oh, don't know whether we push Danger Man into that one or not, if I'm honest. <laughs> Danger Man was 100% covering us as we were trying to do exactly the same thing. Liam is the unlucky one either way in that one. Yeah, we just all asked so much of the car uh, in the final corner. Ooh, or final, final couple of corners. Bloody hell. That was an amazing one. As I said, I love this track. I love this track. It's a great circuit um, for racing. Level 8 gets fastest lap of the race. I mean, me, this Danger Man, Liam, we were all fighting each other so hard for so long in that. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Lado, unfortunately, ended up ninth. I mean, Lado was in that fight for a while. I mean, at one point, the top nine were covered by a second. Um, oh, God, we've got Zoomy Cats now. You know what? The dog was karma. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, 
but uh, there we go. Wonderful race. Wonderful race around there. Um, and we will go again. We will have one more uh, run around here. I'll have a quick drink. Yes, I agree, Cass. I do agree. Um, I know. <laughs> Sorry, I just have conversations with my cat. He's much better to talk to than the dog. Uh, the dog's terrible at conversations. He just barks at other dogs. Only if he's inside. If he's outside, he doesn't. Well, don't tell a lie, actually. He barks at squirrels a lot because he desperately wants to chase them. And he wanted to meet a swan. I don't know why. I don't know why he wanted to go say hello. He just wants to say hello to everything. <laughs> Um, and Cass does not want to say hello to anybody other than me. Occasionally he'll come and say hello to Cart. Well, he will stick his head out. Like he will, he will now observe from the top of the stairs Carly if she's downstairs. <laughs> that's that's kind of the level we've got to with him, which is something. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll stick with. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll stick with eight laps. Why not? I don't know what I don't know what the car is here in in the tuner category. Um, I'm hoping something good. Uh, I can't do cat cam because cats. I don't know where the cat is. I think it's one. I think he's wandered off again. Uh, yeah, I could hear him meowing because he was behind my desk. Uh, but he's not in the office anymore. If he turns up and stays at the office for any length of time, then you might be lucky and get a little bit of a little bit of cat cam. It will very much depend. No, in my luck, he'll turn up while we're racing. Um, I can, I can hear, I can hear a cat squawk. I just can't see a cat. Cass. Oh, we have the preview. I, this is a fantastic race car. Should be good fun. This is a. I think this is one of the cars that's one of the best with contact. Like you can proper, I think this is the one you can properly bump draft. Uh, not that that's likely to happen around this. Is it this one? No, it isn't this one. I take it back. I still think it's quite good to race. No, it isn't this one. It's the Sylvia one. Sorry, that's the really, really good bump drafting one. Um, this is like the Toyota Sora alike or Lexus thing. Um, I still think it's quite good to drive though. It's got a little bit of a Honda Prelude nose as well. <laughs> just, just a smidge. Uh, right. We will... Oh, okay. <laughs> we will find out this goes on two wheels very well. Uh, that's a thing. That's a thing to be aware of that I did not know about. So, important lesson number one. Where you could attack the curbs quite aggressively with the swinger, you cannot with this. Bad times... Uh, will be had by all if you are too aggressive on the curves. Level 8 your net, isn't it? Oh, he's never going to find space there. Although, I was then too tight to the wall and <laughs> got myself in trouble. Again, one bump on a wall has cost me nearly three places. I think we'll get away because we'll get a little bit of slipstream from Danger Man. But, uh, yeah. Jeez. Oh, everyone is stacking up a little bit through there. Uh, it's, it's so difficult. Uh, to, to judge when you're further back, especially when your car's being dragged forward by slipstream and potentially bumped forward by others behind you uh, to try to try and uh, judge everything. Oh, we got a little bit squished against the wall. We have got a gap. Chris has got a gap to the car behind. Level 8 was looking for a way around the outside. Uh, I'm going to try duck underneath. There is a certain amount of oversteer with this car uh, when you kind of chuck it about. It hasn't got the most amount of grip. So, yeah, uh, we will try and make this work on the outside. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> oh, there was nothing I could do there. We were absolutely stuffed in that one. Gliska and Level 8 both rolled, and I unfortunately got squished against the wall with a rolling Gliska. <laughs> oh, there's nothing I could do on that one. I mean, it's a very fail racy way to have an accident. We were being sensible on the outside of all of that. Like, and look, the, the line we took was sensible. It was it was sensible through that corner, except for the fact that Gliska got a lot of lot onto two wheels, as did level eight, which just wasn't expected. So we're really gonna have to be careful with that. Oh, don't hit the inside wall, you moron. Uh, 
I mean, we're not out of this one yet. Liam and Danger Man have the lead. Then it's Gliska and Ewan. Then I'm bringing a train of green cars with us. I think we can catch by the end of the race. We just can't afford to have too many more problems. Where on earth does that flying thing come from? Ewan has parked for unknown reasons. <laughs> Uh, for a second I thought it was a missed checkpoint, I don't think you can miss a checkpoint on here. I'm guessing Ewan has to go AFK for whatever reason. Uh, Longbow is going to have a look. I think Longbow might get past. No. Longbow did not quite get the run out of that corner they needed. Uh, so it is a position held for me. Valentine's having a look. Uh, right. Come on. We can do this. Just don't hit the grass hard through there is the way to go. Now we are going to be vulnerable to a Longbow. Part of that. Lombo got such a good slipstream there. I think they got slip, way more slipstream than they were expecting down that one. So I, I wasn't intentionally to be a, a real... It wasn't really a block. I just started moving across to the inside and Lombo just turned up with a million mile an hour slipstream. Uh, Liam up onto two wheels a bit. Gliska up onto two wheels. I actually ended up pinning Gliska there. It's uh, kind of ruined Gliska's move. Lombo is to the lead of the race. The inside, all the way to the inside. I went all the way to the outside there. Gliska with a good run off the corner. Uh, but finds an orange car in front of them again. Uh, we are oh, forced a little bit wide through there. It's going to be side by side, I think, down here. So we're leaving space. It isn't quite, actually. Danger Man uh, fell back into line. I was looking for a gap on the inside here, but none is appearing. Still kind of still kind of looking, but I'm on a tight... I'm going to lose a lot of speed if I can't get a move completed down here. Uh, Danger Man is... To the inside through here. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Got ran over by everyone. Uh, further back on that. Uh, never mind. Oh, Longbow into the inside wall. I get. I mean, Longbow survives to fight another day, which is something uh, from that one. We have had... We've been in the wars so far. Uh, Lado has got past. We're falling to second. This is a much bigger group of cars than we had with the swingers, and we know how it ended um, in that one. Mute was thinking about having a look to the inside, won't quite make it work. All right, come on, let's get some slipstream. This is going to be, this is going to get swamped by everybody, although it will work the other way. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing we could have done about that one, sadly. It was just too late. We saw the... Uh, outcome of that crash. Uh, Longbow will get to the inside. Can't really st defend that. Try and cut underneath on the exit, but it doesn't quite work well enough. Uh, well, there comes a little bit of slipstream off the back of Valentine's car. Gonna get a kick of oversteer through there. It's now getting crowded. It's getting very crowded down here. Mute is in the middle of this. Uh, we will sneak our way past, to be honest. Uh, as everyone was kind of all checking up we found a little... It's already 3-1. I had so much speed there, but nowhere to go. Uh, as it was already 3-wide. Oh! As Liam in twisted about, we can't make that one stick. We're going to have to settle for fourth at the moment. Uh, Gliska bumped a wall and lost all the... Uh, Gliska had a lovely amount... A lovely little gap. Bumped a wall and lost all of it. Uh, me and Liam with a good run down here. Try and end up trying to push Liam to the lead. I can't really make the most of this. Uh, Liam's understeered out wide, though. Mute's trying to get underneath us. We're still in just stuck. We've just got a wall of cars in front of us. It's the same kind of battle that went on in the last race. The same protagonists. This time, though, we've got Mute looking for a way past. We've got more cars actually looking for a way past. Uh, Mute's going to get all of us here on the run to the line. We're just bump drafting. Danger Man! Valentine has flipped. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not the place we expected to have a car roll, but it's the place we had a car roll and Gliska's has gone over again. We've spun off the nose of Ewan. That was more... I was trying to desperately get away from a rolling Gliska and the crash that was good on the outside. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. There's a few more laps to go. I think there's still, there is still a chance for us in this, but it is... We're going to have to figure out our way through this. I can maybe sneak a pass on Lado. A little bit of a rude pass, if I'm honest, uh, on Lado there. All right. The front, I mean, is all squabbling. No one's getting very far away because 
there is all of this squabbling going on. Uh, you just you can't break free, uh, especially not with catch up, of course. Um, not that this track is the most effective. So this track is not the most heavily affected uh, by catch up because you're not actually got that many long straights. However, because it's so difficult to pass and you lose so much time battling. Jesus, I've got mega cat zoomies going on here, and well, that might be the end of it for me. Now we might might be a little bit of a tall order in two laps. The only plus point is we do get, I think we do get, we will have a clean track in front of us. Um, we will have to be. If there are crashes, we will be kind of. We will have a little bit more time to react to them, but we will be running at them pretty fast. Oh, like that. For an example, don't know what went on. I'm going to guess a squeeze against the outside wall. Or, actually, it might be a car roll off the inside, end up heading out towards the outside. Cass is being very vocal today. <laughs> now Apollo's gone downstairs, he is being very, very talkative. Uh, that is a horrible place to be AFK. <laughs> completely wrecked that corner. Uh, not that you really want to be on the grass, particularly, but still. Uh, Valentine, big oversteery moment through there. I will say thank you very much for that position. Uh, we will cover the inside nicely. I mean, like, yeah, we've got the position, although we will just drag Valentine with us towards this group. Now, we're going to have to kind of pick our way through quickly. Um, Valentine's going to look to the outside, going to struggle to make that one stick, and yeah, will not, will not, uh, will not work. We've got a good run off of that corner to claim one of the positions. Oh, as we pass mute. But yeah, so like we're kind of we're wanting to look for a way forward in all of this. Because on the final lap you're not gonna be able to come from seventh or eighth to win. You're gonna to have to be in the lead, you know, probably the top I imagine coming out coming out of this section, you know, only the top three really have a chance barring a big crash. I mean there's always a chance of a big crash, especially a track like this. Um, but there's no crazy slipstream run, there's no crazy things you can do really with the car uh, to make something magical happen from further back, uh, unless things go really weird. Uh, we've just not got any slipstream at all going on down here. But yeah, it's Danger Man, Gliska, Liam all battling for the lead. Liam has got the lead as we head into the chicane. Oh, Gliska with the catch up through there, very, very slow. Unfortunately, we got a little bit stuck with nowhere to go. Uh, it's four wide towards the hairpin. You're on a very, very tight line. Uh, we've got a much sort of better line uh, through there, but it doesn't really matter how good of a run I get out of the corner because we're just, it's three by three. You just run into a wall of cars. And now it's still three wide. Uh, we are kind of in the middle of this one. <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. It's mostly fine. We might sneak our way down here. What on earth are you doing? Well, you're going to get punted out of the way by the lead lap cars, which is uh, yeah, about fair, really. Um, okay. What can... I mean, we, we did what we needed to in many ways in that we've got ourselves into this sort of top three. Uh, we've got a great run down here, but it's asking a lot of the car... We do sweep across, although this is going to make us very slow on the exit. Clonk the curb there to get off the corner. We, I mean, we know they're going to be having a look. Uh, Gliska does not actually want to get the pass done there. Uh, I think you would be trying to... Actually, see, you would be trying to set it up, but... Uh, they might be close enough still to outrun us to the line. Uh, they are still just. But, I mean, that was nearly not close enough. Oh, Liam is there. <laughs> but, but only just... Christ, but I don't actually think Liam really wanted to go through the corner like that because it was at such a wonky line, lost so much speed um, through that one. We've got a great run through here. Liam's coming with us. Uh, Liam is going to have a look to the inside. I didn't know whether they were. I didn't want to kind of shut the door completely, but uh, oh, I was also hoping they weren't going to be to the inside. However, there they are. Glisco's going to cut underneath us. I haven't got the turning just to make that one stick, but we will hold it side by side through these next few corners. It is two by two uh, all the way through here. Me, Gliska, Danger Man, Liam. It's probably going to be one of us four that will go on to take victory here. Mute is a little far back, I should think, for this. Liam is trying to prise open a door there. 
I mean, it could almost work. I can't get speed to that corner. That's the corner I really struggle at, at making speed at. Uh, we are a little bit pinned through here. However, oh, we get it. <laughs> We've actually got them, despite getting really sideways off the nose of Danger Man's car, we actually got quite in trouble through there. Uh, right, here we go. I mean, this is the run towards the final corner, as like it was with the Swiggers. Slightly fewer cars this time, if anything. Gliska goes defensive uh, in here. Danger Man's trying to look to the inside. Gliska's pinned Liam out wide. I've got a great run, but nowhere to go with it. Uh, well, I've got nothing I can do. We <laughs> cross the line in a gaggle of cars, and that is that. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, what a mad race. We end up fourth. Danger Man takes victory. We tried to push Gliska. We tried to do the bump draft there. Um... Uh, Valatone ended up fifth in uh, in all of this. One at level eight. Salmon, Lado, Longbow, and Ewan uh, round out the top ten. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we were just stuck with it being three wide in front of us, and it didn't matter what run I had, we were always going to uh, be stuck, essentially. Uh, so, <laughs> there we go. Um, uh, it's a great track, that one. That is, that is, an, absolutely, that is an absolutely fantastic track. Um, yeah. The, the surprise rollovers at the start of that one were quite funny. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for just random um, random falling overs that nobody was quite expecting. Um, we figured it out, you know. I mean, there were random falling overs later on, but we mostly figured, figured them out um, after the initial couple of laps. Uh, a vortex. Thank you for the donation, by the way. I don't, don't think I read it, but ask, ask for cat cam. As I said, if the cats stay in here long enough, then we can. If they do not, which they are not currently, I don't know where they are. Nope, no cats. Um, then, uh, yeah, <laughs> they might make. Let's see, they they might make an appearance. We shall see. We shall see. Um, it is, of course, now time for some sumo. Actually, running a little bit late. Um, but there we'll still do at least a round of sumo. Uh, if we run a little bit over the three-hour mark, oh well. <laughs> so be it. I do not mind. I'm sure, I'm sure you lot won't mind either. Uh, but I will go and get it loaded up quickly here. Uh, adversary modes. That's the one that we want. Uh, where do we want to go? Sumo Remix 1. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, we always go to... I think it's 4. Uh, we always we always have to go to that one. So, yeah. We'll go to Sumo Remix 1. So. Do I say the way that this one works? Uh, we all do that. Uh, doesn't matter. Now. They will invite the filming crew lot in first. And then... So... All the invites reset. You have to message you and again if you want to get into this one. Uh, and then, yeah, we will see how it, uh, how it goes. Do I do off-road? I mean, you know what's going to happen if I do off-road. <laughs> off-road, actually, I might just go for, I might just do this. Because this is actually quite fun. I do quite like this. Um, so... There are some banned cars. If you've played Sumo with us before, if you've seen one of these before, um, you will know them, but I'm going to say them again, just in case, for those that haven't. So, you are not allowed to use the Revolta, the Raiden, the Neon, or the Cyclo. Uh, those four, you are not allowed to use, because if you did, that's basically all anybody would use, especially the Revolta. Um, those four vehicles are banned. They are all far too strong basically when it comes to when it comes to this uh, i know what i'm driving chat knows what i'm driving because uh, <laughs> i'm a plank basically <laughs> uh no i i have I, so i can tell you now danger man is probably going to drive an ardent gliska will probably drive something a bit different i was going to say maybe a mupava uh gliska likes to go in something a little bit wacky um But yeah, everyone knows I'm going to 
drive a monster truck. Someone else is going to drive a monster truck as well. I won't be the only one. Uh, the monster truck... <laughs> the monster truck is one of those that about 30% of the time it is amazing and 70% of the time... No, no, 30% of the time it's amazing. 50% of the time it does weird things and 20% of the time I let it down, <laughs> basically. Um, so, yeah. I am not driving a rusty rebel. Crane, that, that is your special vehicle. I am definitely, definitely not driving it. Uh, at least the monster truck can do good. <laughs> like, the monster truck can be good. The rusty rebel might survive a couple of rounds. That's about as good as it gets. Um, okay, four teams. First win two rounds. Uh, we shall get underway. Uh, now, there is likely to be two teams of filming crew um because it tends to put people in teams with their crew and on their friends it's probably going to be me gliska danger man and ewan i'm gonna guess that's probably gonna be oh no it's me gliska danger man and lado this time around hey we have the ladosaurus on our team uh where is the best there we go <laughs> then we have got longbow liam mutant level late wow it really is two filming crew uh, oh, Ewan is the filming crew member that isn't on a filming crew team. Ewan, Lineko, Valetade, and Shadow. And then we have Salmon, Midnight, Mafia, and Vortex. Uh, <laughs> game, you could mix up the teams a little bit more. I'm just, just putting it out there. Um, I mean, at least, at least we're going to have a, a, an Ardent on our team, which is pretty strong. This is when Danger... Because I've said it, Danger Man has picked something else. I can guarantee you. Um, let's see what our team composition is like. Is it terrible? This is when our whole team is monster trucks, and then we're really screwed. Uh, we have got... Uh, no, not bad. Sentinel isn't amazing. The Ardent and the... Uh, what is that? The... Not sure. Uh, oh, there's a trophy truck in here. Am I the only monster truck? Possibly. Boop! Hey, I stole the wheel! <laughs> hey! Happy days. I don't know why I'm bullying. Well, actually, I do know why I'm bullying the trophy truck, because it's the only thing I can roll over. Um, well, occasionally Lado does a flip off of that thing as well. Uh, whoop. Go away, Longbow. Oh, Longbow's in the swinger, I think, because the swinger is very low. So the swinger can actually cause me a lot of trouble. So I'm good against things like the trophy truck. I'm good against things like the flash. Anything that I can roll over, I'm quite strong against. Um, but things like the Swinger I'm not very good against because it just drives underneath me. Although, they do struggle to kill me if I'm in a circle because I can just climb over them. Um, we will just... Let's see. You cannot push me out because I can park in the center of the circle and I can climb over all of you. For I am a monster truck. And all of that jazz. Um, although sometimes I just go on two wheels. I mean, that time there was a pretty good reason as to why I went on two wheels. Oh, uh, Midnight tried to spin us. It didn't work. Whoa. Hello, everybody. Hello, Lado. <laughs> ah, uh oh, we're in trouble now. Oh, Lineko is gone. We aren't the first ones out. The little, the little victories. Oh, for God's sake, I've killed my own teammate. Oh no, Gliska will get. I've killed the other own teammate because I was looking the wrong way. Um, I very nearly killed Gliska and Danger Man. We're off to a wonderful, wonderful start. Right, monster truck away. Maybe. Oh, hello, Longbow. Oh, I was so hoping Longbow was going to drive themselves out. That would have been very funny if Longbow trying to go underneath us drove themselves out. Sadly, did not happen. Danger Man, why? <laughs> Danger Man was just parked across in front of us. I'm in a monster truck. I don't have very good brakes, all right? I do have good climbing abilities. Slightly disappointed no one else has gone for big vehicles. I feel like we are a little bit uh, outgunned here. Just a smidge. Um, right. Uh-oh. We're getting pincer maneuvered by purple. Hey, Longbow. Whee! <laughs> We're just spinning around on top of cars at the moment. I want to be here. Yep. I am here. I am in the circle. I can't really do much pushing, but I can stay in the circle. Um, yes. I don't quite know where I'm going, but... Oh, go, monster truck. Yes, purple team. Flounder. Flounder around. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, oh, the Mafia spun themselves. Boop. Oh! 
We almost got a kill. We almost got a kill in that one. We have pushed Vortex out, but uh, right, I'm climbing. Hey, the lots of things died. Some of them ours, some of them other people's. Purple have quite a lot of cars still left. Hello, Longbow. I am a hat. <laughs> Longbow, you're annoying. <laughs> Go away. No, I shall not be spun. I refuse to be spun. In fact, Lombo has actually given up on the spinning at this point. Um, I really don't want to punt my own team out at this point, but... Uh... Oh! Pink have lost a car. Right, there are two orange. The monster truck against a team of sports cars is actually not doing too badly. Uh, I really shouldn't have bothered with that. I feel like my goal is almost not to... Oh, that was almost a wonderful dodge from Dayton. Well, it was a good dodge. It was almost a wonderful dodge and put Longbow out of the arena. Um, right, we've got all the brakes here. I'm just going to try and park on top of Longbow at this point. Um, Longbow's goner, I think. I am still in the circle. <laughs> How is this still going? <laughs> How... How on earth is this monster truck still going? Hello, Danger Man. Um, please don't help. <laughs> Actually, no, thank you. That's quite good. You can kind of be like the rear gunner. You can protect. You can protect the uh, back of the monster truck. Ugh. Well, I don't even fit in the circle at this point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm almost too tall. It's almost got to the point where I'm too tall for the circle. What happens if the circle is too small for a monster truck to physically fit in it? I mean, hello, Mafia. You're being a little bit annoying. Whoop. Oh, dear. Okay, well, the thing is, I don't have to go very far to get to this circle, so if I spin around a bit, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't think my driver ever fits in the circle here. The... <laughs> I think Danger Man might have won, but I don't really know. <laughs> hey! I'm gonna say Danger Man won it. I think they did. Woo! For Ori and I, we all died. But it gave it to us, so yay! <laughs> I think Danger Man uh, was kind of closest to being in the circle. When the Actually, no, Danger Man was in the circle. I think the. Uh, uh, Danger Man was underneath my truck and was in the circle. If that hadn't, if Danger Man hadn't survived, I don't know if other vehicles should have survived. To be honest, I didn't really see. Um, uh, this is this is pretty much a worst case scenario for a monster truck. Um, however, <laughs> it's surprisingly good. It did surprisingly good. Um, let's see what happens this time around. Ah! <laughs> As is the obligatory Team Orange friendly fire. We've been booped by each of our teammates. Uh, right. So about the only things I can really do much to is the Desert Raid truck. The Flash. I can push some of the sports cars if we hit them right, but only sometimes. Oh dear, we are being rather bullied here. Nope, I want to go this way now. Oh, Glisker is gone. But Ewan is gone as well. Actually, that's really good because Ewan had the XA-21, which is very, very good. Probably the best. The XA-21 is probably the best non-banned car. It's the sensible choice um, in this. Along with the Ardent. The Ardent is actually a very good that was absolutely brutal. I am sorry to the pink turn. Lineko, I am very sorry, but you are the one thing I can hit hard. So it's just, there was an option. There was an option to hit a, a Desert Raid truck hard, so I kind of took it. Uh, look, it's the only thing I'm good for. Save the ladder. Oh, no. Well, I was a bit too late to save the ladder. Um... Okay, I'm going to leave the ladder alone, and then we're going to maybe boop the other thing that I can probably realistically hit. Oh, that's gone as well. <laughs> we are just slaughtering poor pink team. <laughs> I really need to aim for purple cars. Right, purple cars. We need to stop purple cars. Um, I just should really start aiming for the purple vehicles, not the bloody pink cars. Um, sorry, pink team. I don't have any real grievances against you. It was just... Uh, your vehicles were big enough for me to hit. That's literally it. That's literally it at this point. Um, 
Okay, speed, 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 speed. Oh, I've wiped out Lado. I thought there were purple cars behind Lado. That was, yeah, I wiped out my own team now. Well, we're off to a swimming start. Um, well, we can climb over a uh, Liam. It wasn't really all that helpful. Um, oh, Mute's going to kill himself. Oh, Mute dodged that one. Fair play. Well, well done to Mute. <laughs> Uh, I was carrying a lot of speed, and I figured um, Mute was going to come with us on that, but uh, nope. <laughs> I mean, Danger Man is left with the sensible car from Orange. Actually, no, Gliska's was pretty sensible. The whatever it's called, Pariah, I think, on that one. Um, so yeah, actually, Green, t we've got when Purple have lost some cars that time around, which was which was important. They've lost Longbow. And I don't know the other ones. Oh, Danger Man's going to be cutting this one fine, but it's a good push, actually. It does leave It does leave us, well, kind of 1v1v3. One one as, as, as much as we were saying we had to take out the purple cars, now it might be a little bit of pseudo teamwork. Although everyone wants to take out the orange car, because, uh, of course, we can win this game. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to guess purple probably won't want to work with us, funnily enough. Uh, green team need to work together. Oh, Danger Man's unlucky there. That's so close to being far enough in. Mute is in trouble here. <laughs> I mean, it's not impossible to lose from the... It's not impossible to win from this situation, but it is difficult, to say the least. And Mute's gone. Good work from green. Green team did a... Uh, did a lot of good work there, and uh, yeah, that was the end of that. They actually did a good job of blocking out Danger Man as well, so. There we go. Well done, Green Team. They will take uh, an unequivocal victory on that one. Purple and Pink are yet to win a, <laughs> win a round. I bet Pink are just unfortunately quite, quite nice targets for me, because they've got higher-sided cars. Purple are the hardest team for me to take out. The Pariah and the... Uh, what's my called? Uh, what's the other one? Purple have got the Shafter, I think it is, the Liam's driving. They're the ones that we can kind of do something about sometimes. Um, oh, Drake Gamer, thank you very much for the uh, donation. I shall read that when I get a minute. If I go out of this one with the monster truck, or at some point. We probably will. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it's just, I, I, just, I love the monster truck. It's just so much fun. Uh, it is the most it's the most entertaining sumo vehicle by far. Because uh, you just never know what's going to happen. Oh, the neko has gone. Oh. Dakar, I like beating up the Dakar truck. I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, it's the one thing... I, oh. Oh, no, climb that way. Climb this way. Still climbing. Still climbing. Uh, all of my wheels are now on the ground again. Oh, Valentine has put us around. Right, we do need to do something about green. Green are the bigger threat. Although for me, it's just really I've got to get into the circle. Uh, oh, yeah, see, we can hit that about. Valentine didn't really... You and didn't really do much either, to be honest. Uh, oh, purple vehicle has just shot underneath us. I mean, we got bundled about quite a bit there, but... That was literally... Whoa! <laughs> Damn it. I was so disappointed I didn't end up in a kill. That was awesome. Um, for once, monster truck physics actually kind of worked uh, kind of how it should. Oh, we're getting carried by Longbow that time. Thank you for the assist, Longbow. Much appreciated. Uh, oh, I shouldn't really do that because that's how we die quite a lot of the time. Uh... Oh, I killed myself killing Liam. <laughs> I saw I saw an opportunity to turn and flick a car out. The problem is it flicked me into the air and it wasn't quite... Uh... <laughs> Damn it. Oh, and it was too good of an opportunity to pass up. It was a it was a shafter. Um, kind of by the edge of the arena that I could just twist, but it booped me in the air too much. If I hadn't got so much air time, it would have been awesome. Um... Oh, that was a good hit from Gliska. That's got to take another purple car there. I think it did. Um, it is green. We probably need to be a little bit more aware of uh, in this one. I say potentially 
my pink team, we've got that XA21 uh, that we know is, is very, very strong. That, that is what Glisk is going for at the moment, yeah. That is probably one to watch out for. Oh, Shadow is facing backwards. Did a good job of saving that one, actually, right on the edge. Green never have lost a car. Uh, that is good. The Pariah is quite heavy, so it does have that going for it. Uh, Lado is still in this one. Danger Man's still in this one. Something else exploded. Who in purple lost a car? Um, oh, but so did we. We lost a Lado. Ah. I mean, the Sentinel is the weaker of our... Of, of the three remaining vehicles at that point. But, uh, yeah, we still want uh, more vehicles if we can. Oh. Gliska is getting rid of a green car. It is, well, it did need to be done. I think Gliska would have liked to have managed to get stopped in time. Almost worked. Almost worked there for uh, for Gliska. We are now down to one green, one orange. Oh, well, Danger Man just went underneath Mafia. <laughs> that was... Uh, that works, I guess. Now it's the race to get across here. Um... That, is it the Wagner that Green have, is not very stable. Danger Man is still going to just get into the circle. Oh, Valete made sure, made sure that the Green vehicle would not survive this. Okay. I mean, it's 3v2v1, but essentially it's kind of, well, actually, I mean, they can fight amongst themselves. Danger Man... Danger Man probably just wants to stay out of the way, let them fight amongst themselves and kind of sneak in at the end um, and hope that they can even the numbers out. Because at the moment, Orange aren't a really big threat in as far as there's only one Orange car left. Uh, it's now 2v2v1. Um, but if the other teams fight each other too hard, Danger Man could sneak a victory. We have seen it done. Rare, but it is possible. Um, Ewan with the brake check that didn't quite work. Um... Uh, Show the camera will not spin around fast enough. <laughs> Danger Man's going for the dodge. Level 8 did not get fired off the platform. Oh, Danger Man went for it, but missed the hit on Ewan. Uh, oh, Mute is going to block Danger Man out of that one. Good good positioning from Mute there. Um, it is now two purple, oh, two purple cars versus one pink car, and the pink car is a hot ring. Done pretty well to survive this long. <laughs> that was always likely to be the uh, outcome of that. Though, I mean, it could turn up here with a good push, uh, actually, and give them grief, but no. It will be Mute that wins it. Purple. Oh, level 8 did... Oh, Mute, you've gone too far for... Oh, Pink could have survived that. Mute went too far forward, and I tell you what, I, the, the Pink car was expecting there to be more resistance. It actually just overshot the... Uh, overshot the circle. It really should have well, it should have survived. Could have survived that one. Um, had it uh, timed a little bit better. Um, but there we go. Right. Pink are the only team without a victory in this. Um, hopefully I can have a good monster truck round now. Um, we will see. <laughs> Uh Okay. Got well, not crash into my own team. Got to See that sadly it is pink that I'm pink team I'm most effective against. And sadly they're the one team that I don't really need to aim for. Uh oh the orange friendly fire is a go immediately woo <laughs> I saw Two sports cars coming at me. What better thing to do than just see how high I can ramp my monster truck off of them? Whoa, hello. Um, the answer is very. The answer is very high. Uh, we can really fly the monster truck. Oh, Gliska's out again? Does he help? That's unfortunate. I don't know. I didn't even see what happened. I didn't see what caused Gliska to go out um, of this one of the, uh, at all. But there we go. Liam can go over. Now we can just climb along the Liam. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. I don't really have any problem with pink team. You know what? I'm happy to not even really intentionally crash into you. Um, I'm more more interested in trying to put out the other teams. Uh, well, I'll park here. Here is good. Here is less good. Well, I'm still climbing over everything. Uh, direction. This direction. Let's go. Oh, great monster truck. 
Oh, great monster truck of wheelie and mayhem. Please behave. <laughs> That's just, just, just please, please behave yourself. Oh, great truck. Oh, you can go underneath us and I will just park. I will park in the center of the circle. Thank you kindly. Uh, or on top of everybody else's car. That also does work out quite well for me. Oh, danger man's there. Hello. Sorry. I'm going. Oh, I'm still going this way. <laughs> I don't want to take the jump because I don't trust my truck. Uh, I know we should be good at jumps and things, but I still don't really, you know, trust it or anything like that. Um, well, oh, Mafia has gone. That is good, actually. That's one of the uh, low-slung race cars that likes to launch me about. Uh, it's just a bundle of cars of which, well, me and Lineko are climbing over. Um, the, the monster truck is better at the climbing than the Desert Raid truck, but still. Uh, we've got to have to be careful here. Oh, Malatane can kind of go... They didn't really hit very hard. Oh, uh, well, I think I might have killed that. I wasn't even really aiming for it. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> I didn't actually... I didn't want to hit it hard because I was so close... It was quite close to the edge, and if I hit it hard, I sometimes bounce off it randomly. Longbow's out. Um... What have we got? It's three... Oh, it's, it's, every team has three. Unfortunately, our team has a monster truck. Uh, hello, level eight. How are you doing? <laughs> you just want to park underneath us, do you? Uh, there's a little gap there that I don't want to fall in. Look out, danger man. Monster truck is on the move. All right, level eight is going to pop us into the arena. Hey, and climb! <laughs> Activate climbing mode. Climbing mode has been successful. Oh. And dismounting mode has also been vaguely successful. Although spinning around mode, less good. Uh, right, okay, it's me and Lado. Oh, this is quite a long drive. Hey, Lado. You're trying to give us some... I'm going to probably go for let's not hit anything along the way. Because oh, we've got to actually make sure we get to the circle here. And climb! Oh, no, we've lost... We've lost Danger Man that had our best car. It falls to me and Lado. Pink Team. Oh, Pink Team has still got three going. Hey, well done, Pink Team. Uh, that didn't really do anything. That's not great. That did bad things. No. Oh. Right. Oh, Lineko has gone for a flip. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, it was a good push on purple. No! Someone turned up and made sure. We, we got a good push on a couple of purple cars. I'm hoping Lado's still alive. I don't know who hit us. Uh, it is not a Lado. Lado's gone. It's pink team that are left. Ewan, well, the, Ewan's got the XA21. We know it's strong for this. Can Ewan and the Desert Raid truck make this work? Um... Ewan is desperately trying to hold Vortex out, and I think Ewan might have done a good enough job here. Oh, very good work from Pink Team. And there we go. I mean, we laughed about the Desert Ray truck. And we did murder it very successfully at a couple of points. However, it came good. It came good in that round. Pink Team have a victory. This this round of sumo is going the distance. Oh. Right. Here we go. Winner takes all round. Can the monster truck be good? <laughs> That's the biggest question. Well, it was actually pretty good in that, that last round. Uh, it was... I don't know what turned up at the end and hit everything. I thought we were all sort of finished. Um, so, yeah, it did, it did half decent in that one. This is it. This is the one for all the marbles, etc. Can we be half decent? The million dollar question. Hello, Danger Man. If Danger Man manages to put us off immediately, it would be unfortunate. And there was a little... Whoa! <laughs> Catch it, somebody! Oh, disappointing that nobody caught it. Then we will try. <laughs> that might be the biggest flight of the day. Right there from the pink team. Uh, vehicles. We will dance around on... Oh, God find some traction. I don't want to go out in the first circle. Not in the final round. Hello, Salmon. <laughs> uh, when it works, we can really bully cars. Like, it's just... They... Oh, physics. Why? 
<laughs> oh, then there goes just monster truck physics. We managed to get <laughs> we managed to get a flash to do random front flips, which was hilarious. But sadly, decided that I should just be bounced off for no discernible reason. Um, yeah. It was, a, it was a great flip. It was a great flip we did to the Flash. It's just a shame we bounced that way. Um, uh, I mean, we weren't exactly the most useful member of the team. However, oh, that is a good save from the Desert Truck. I was more hoping we'd get the green team car off. Unfortunately, that was not to be the case. Uh, yeah, the Pariah is definitely not too bad here. Something has exploded and it was Danger Man and now we're in trouble. It's going to be difficult for Orange team. It's not impossible. Um, it's not. It's not impossible, but it is going to be difficult from here. Pink has still got all four vehicles uh, in. Oh, that was a good hit from one of the green cars. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for slow bumping duel, but most, if not all, will survive in here. Uh, I wouldn't like to call this one. Purple has still got fairly strong vehicles left. Um, the, the Pariah is good if it can if it can make it far enough. Oh no! It's gone wrong! Gliska's out! As, uh, as vehicles were bouncing around and twisting about, Gliska's gone. It now falls to Lado for Orange Team, which is about to be out, I think, here. Yeah, Mute is going to make it so. Pink Team are actually in a very strong position here. Pink have still got all four of their vehicles. Might not be one there, although no, Mute doesn't isn't able to finish them off. Um, purple are down. Pink are in a very strong position here. The only thing they've got to be careful of is they don't friendly fire uh, their own team out. That one can happen. We have seen it when you have sort of a four v two in this instance. But okay, well it's sacrificed. Valentine sacrificed, uh, making sure Mute didn't a worthwhile trade like I would take that trade any day of the week in that position vortex you've got a hell of a lot of work to do here uh, <laughs> we've seen 3v1s been won before but it is very difficult uh, and I'm thinking I'm thinking vortex might be in trouble here you've got to get to the circle at some point and pink are just going to do that um, oh they found a way in nicely nicely done nicely done um See, the thing that Pink can do is they can sacrifice a car uh, to just hold up the green vehicle so it can't even get to the circle. Uh, and of course, you have got to make sure that you do prevent them from getting to the circle if you're going to go down that route. Uh, you can't afford to fart around, because uh, if this suddenly becomes a 2v1, it becomes a lot more possible for Green, uh, who, again, done a good job of surviving. Uh, the best shot Green has is you get to the smaller circles, and the whatever the car is they're driving. I don't know what it's called. Um, it has got a low enough front end that it will scoop the desert truck up. It's quite light. It's not as it's not as heavy as the XA21. I think it's rear-wheel drive, so it won't quite have the pushing power of the XA21. Uh, and again, all they've got to do is just get the nose of the vehicle in. Desert Raid could do some good work here, but not hit hard enough to uh, push the vehicle out. Um... Yeah, this small circle. This is actually probably Vortex's best chance. You've got to do something here. If uh, if you're going to win it, because Pink could kind of screw themselves up a bit here. Um, now, can that... Oh, it will. He's going to climb underneath. Oh, Pink have got to scramble for this one. Oh, <laughs> Vortex has done it. Well, as they've done it, has leveled the playing field. It's not over yet, of course. Ewan is still in it with probably the strongest option in terms of cars. Um, it's XA21 versus whatever that thing is, uh, which, yeah, the all-wheel drive might be the difference here. Uh, we will have to wait and see. Ewan is going to go for the kind of chase around the arena. As long as all Ewan has to do is sort of just keep pinning that green vehicle on the outside. The, the circle is now going to shrink. Uh, Vortex is in trouble here. Although Ewan almost overdrove that. In fact, Vortex has done a pretty good kind of like reversal almost on this. Now it's Ewan that is trying to uh, 
battle around. The XA-21 has got to the centre. It's now a push of war, and this is where the traction of the XA-21 is coming in. Vortex is in a lot of trouble. They're going to try and twist it, but it's not enough. Ewan will take victory. Um, well played. I mean, Vortex did amazing to get it down to that, to, to a 1v1. Uh, helped by the sort of scoopy car they had, but uh, I think a fitting end to a very, a very close round of uh, close round of sumo. An excellent battle. Um, well done, Pink Team. Deserved, deserved winners in that one. Uh, we had some silly cars on our team that had their moments of working all right and then didn't. <laughs> Basically, sometimes worked and then and then they did dumb things. Well, they said, the monster truck's just too fun to pass up, really. But uh, there we go. There we go. That is going to be well that is that is going to be it for this stream before we do guys drake thank you for the donation saying a haiku uh, for the stream uh, would it be haiku of the day uh, let us find out have we had any other haikus i don't think i think i think you'll win haiku of the day because i don't think we've had another one um but to say <laughs> uh crash crash bas bashing sumo uh beeping booping uh, booming fun oh no alex lost match that sounds about accurate <laughs> um that that does sound pretty pretty accurate, if I'm honest. Um, so there we go. PS, we'll, we'll look forward to track submission format when you finalise it. Yeah, when whenever I get that sorted, it'll be good. Uh, and of course, you know we, we do like having um, the I say random wacky circuits that get submitted. So hopefully it uh, shouldn't be too long. Um, uh, Vortex, thank you for the donation. Uh, also saying so close. Yeah, it was. It was. And, uh, you know, I've got to say, well played. You did do a very, very good job yeah. of fighting that. In, in what was vastly outnumbered, uh, you did very, very well to get it to that... Uh, to get it to that point. Um, it is always very difficult. It's, it's not, as I said, it isn't impossible. We have seen... 3v1's been been won before but it is so tough so tough to do it um, however yeah that is going to be this is going to be it for today uh, I hope you have all enjoyed this uh, enjoyed this stream I certainly have had fun uh, we had the, uh, the good old boost canal that made an appearance as it was always likely to let's face it um we've had some silly races we've had some very good races also along the way um yeah even apollo made an appearance for for good measure and everything um but uh, yeah hope you've all hope you've all enjoyed enjoyed the stream uh, i shall be back with the uh, next stream on wednesday uh Hopefully, Carly will be joining me for some more RimWorld. Uh, not 100% sure at the moment, but certainly I will be there for some RimWorld on Wednesday. We will see if we can keep that colony alive. Uh, they are they're doing all right. They're doing all right, mostly. Uh, so we shall, we shall keep fingers crossed that they will survive another stream and the many millions of pets that we have. Um, but, uh, yeah, that shall be it for, for today. Of course, a very, very big thank you to everybody who donated. It is uh, much appreciated. Much appreciated indeed. I think I read everything out. I do apologise if I missed any along the way. And, uh, of course, a very big thank you to all of you for watching. But, uh, yeah. Until next time, a goodbye.